Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. I'm Claire. It's Claire. Woo! It's Claire. We're going to intro the rest of it. It's Claire. We brought Bye. Claire back. Claire's no longer dead. We got Claire. <laughs> did you tell them I was dead? I did. John? I kind of told them you were dead. Yes. So that like the return would be more dramatic. But Claire's back. You troll. Claire's back. Which means, yes, the, the, the chat when, will be... When he, says, when he says a side character is dead, you can never believe him. Mm-hmm. Oh, dear. So, yes, uh, I, I, I did my best. You f feel free to, like, you know, snitch on me to, to Claire right now about the various ways I did a terrible job over the last two weeks. I did my best, damn it. I did my flipping best. Well, while Claire was away to try and stay on top of things. But we've got sure Claire. You did. We've got Claire back now. Right, hang on. Before we get going, I just need to make sure <laughs> I've actually got everything open so I can see things as they happen. Right, that should be fine. Now, let's just check if this works correctly. Right, cross your fingers. I haven't live streamed Bad North before. Right, visuals and. It's Rachel, John. What? Someone wants to know what happened to Rachel. Rachel? I don't know. I think they're snitching fake stuff that didn't happen. It, the, the, Unless you have some explaining to do. You see, the problem is, <laughs> the problem is, sometimes I may, I, my, I just kind of, you know, I, I roll with the improv so rapidly. Well, I might well, have, remember, I might you? well have made up a character of Rachel <laughs> and created an entire story about her. I tell you once, I once I once had a massive crush on a girl called Rachel. That's certainly true. Rachel with an A, like Ra like like you know with an extra A at the end before yeah, the yeah, A. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I used oh yeah, once upon a time. Oh massive crush on a girl called Rachel. Oh marvellous. In fact at, at some point after that point I also Facebook stalked her. Uh which was lovely. That's not don't make that face at me. Everyone does it. Everyone does that to people they've got a crush on. Shut up. Right, but you don't like go and yeah. tell the but that was, stream about it. But that was last week, so that's fine. It's, it's not. Oh no, no, this was this was oh, well over a decade ago, which it needs to be because Claire and I've been together <laughs> yeah, for a yeah, cocky it does need to decade. Be that. Right, so welcome to Bad North. <laughs> uh, where's Rachel? Oh, uh, shout out to um, Mr. Face Rock for uh, doing hashtag Where's Rachel with the appropriate A in the chat. Well done. Uh huh. There was there was no Rachel unless I unless I told them the story of Rachel. I, I don't know. I don't know. Now 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 I can't remember. So this is Bad North, by the way. In case you missed the video, it's very very easy, quick and easy to get your head around. Basically, it's a uh, it's kind of like a pared down, simplified uh, real time strategy game. Where basically there is an island and you need to defend it from people what are coming to destroy the island or specifically the houses. We'll just dive Rachel's in. Rachel's a new yet. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Shout out Chris Harkness. That's a good one. Let, let, let me just let me just say for full. Oh wait, is Rachel one of your bastard children, John? <laughs> I don't know. You see, <laughs> someone, someone raised a really interesting point in the Crusader Kings 2 comments. Uh -huh. Which is someone raised the problem that because Connor has had so many children by so many different mothers, there's going to be a serious problem over the next generation or two of accidental incest. Because Connor gets away... As opposed to like... Incest on purpose, which yes. is what we've been doing yes. before. Yes, yes. But there's going to be <laughs> accidental incest, because literally, if you get away with it, officially, according to the child's screen, the mother and the father are who they're supposed to be. So, like, they'll be placed in the family tree under the the woman's husband and the woman, rather than the woman and Connor, because if he gets away with it, according to legitimate rules of dynasty, the child's, that's where they're supposed to sit in the family tree. So I look at this and go, okay, they're far away in the family tree, they're not closely related. Yeah, but one of them they... is called, oh no, and one of them is called, please stop. So you know they're both the children of Connor. <laughs> yeah, but there might be more children I've missed or, or whatever, but from before yeah, the- like fucking- Positron or whatever. Pos Positron. <laughs> Plostron or whatever. The one you put in the sodding oublier. Star scream, help me! No, Positron. Now it is my time to rule. You don't get to mock me for making up a name. You put your child in oublier. I, I did. I, I, I kind of accidentally did. So. <laughs> this is fun. This is fun. So let's just quickly introduce the game for people for whom this is this is all new stuff. And also tell me if the game volume's a bit loud because it, it it certainly the game has got quite aggressive volume. I think. Where's the game? Oh, sorry. That must have been a horrible. Breaking everything. 
breaking all the things. There we go. Right. So what we've got ourselves here is I'm just going to I'm just going to I'm just going to click on these guys. That's effectively a pause. It's a slow mo anyway. So we're on this island here. I've got two units. They're just basic like little like swordy guys. I'm supposed to be protecting these houses. Okay, so the houses at the end of the battle will give me money. So all I'm going to do is have my troops waiting right here. Now I'm not going to have my troops actually right by the actual boats because the boats when they come ashore make a little bit of a big blurbly flirt where they just kind of bump into the island and they knock your guys back and it kind of knocks them off their feet. So you don't actually, you actually want the cell where the boats land needs to be not where your troops are standing. Your troops will take a bit of damage every time. There's nine troops per you. <coughs> excuse me. Nine troops per unit, plus there's actually a commander in the middle who's a bit more hardcore. So we'll just send you in there and just quickly finish you guys off. And yeah, right now we're okay. This guy's getting... I'm just going to quickly actually... Actually, there's no. I'm not going to bother replenishing this guy. When they get weaker, you can actually replenish them, which means sending them into a house and they will recover inside the house. But it takes them a little bit of time to do. Uh, there's three and three... We can handle this. As long as one unit actually survives the fight, then everything's absolutely fine. Uh, because, oh, yeah, one unit's all you need for them to be back up to full strength the next time. So basically, I'm just going to, as these guys come ashore, we're just going to immediately afterwards intercept them. And, yeah, this should be fine. Final wave incoming. So basically, it's, it's a small thing where there's just a few waves. And... <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, God. <coughs> Claire, go Don't to you. Die. While I try Don't to avoid die. dying. All right, all right, all right. Well, uh... <laughs> Shout out to the chat who's being lovely at me being back, by the way. Uh, shout out to Venus, who gave us two pounds. Hello, Venus. And says, Claire, I miss having someone to talk to. Oh, <laughs> that's sweet. I'm not mean to Venus, or if I am, she deserves it somehow. So, Don't I just worry, won... Venus, that's just how he talks to everyone he likes. I just basically won that fight. And because the commander survived, therefore, next to the beginning of the next island, those guys were back up strength. So, nine units total, one commander and eight guys around him. So, at any point, I could have clicked on one of these guys, said, replenish in a house, at which point a town would have started, they'd have been back up to full strength. So, it's very, very <laughs> simple indeed. The guys, basically, when they come ashore, will beeline for the nearest house. They want to burn down the houses. Every house that survives, however, gives you money. So I could have gone and stood up on the high ground, but if I had done, this house down south would have been sacrificed. So for a first island, this was not the easiest one, and now I've got money, I assigned that money to these guys, and that pays for upgrades, but two coins isn't enough to do anything, so we're just going to have to move on. And now we start seeing the map. We basically move from place to place and see what's ahead, and... That is an extra person, because in the end you can have up to four units uh, under your control at any one time. And that down there is an item. Only one space to go for the minute, however. And it is my commander's fatigue. Sorry. You just need to rest your commanders, because once you get enough commanders, you can like do simultaneously like multiple battles per turn. Right now, it's only one, because I've only got the two commanders. Actually, I think there's nothing to stop me like sending command home and just saying, screw it, I only want one commander. Yeah, I could actually just have one commander. Terrible idea. Now, this island is, yeah, this one's interesting. So, say, for example, I just wanted to try and guard this house up top. It would be super easy for me to guard just this house. Because I could just have one guy guarding this choke point here, one guy guarding this choke point here, and they'd never be able to take it. But this house down here is going to be screwed. But this house is fine as long as they're only coming from this side. Because they'll be trying to get up these, um, yeah, the choke point up to here. So all we need to do really is just, yeah, wait to see where the enemy are actually coming from. Still, this one's pretty simple for the time being. Claire, this is a good opportunity for you. Yeah, a shout out to Nicopole who gave us 50 Australian dollars. Oh, thank, thank you, you so very, much. very much indeed. Uh, yeah, and said, first stream, I make it to in month. It takes less than 10 minutes to delve into incest. Yeah. Woo, Crusader Kings 2. Welcome to Crusader Kings 2. I oh, loving it. Loving Crusader it's Kings so 2. so good. And shout out also to Mega Raptor who gave us $50 like before we started Oh, streaming. wow. Hello, Mega Raptor. Uh, so, <laughs> so thank you so much. Uh, hello John, welcome back Claire. How are you this week? I'm back from visiting my partner in Canada so I have some bad dollars. I'm working though so I can't watch but I'll watch this later. Also, three cheers for Venus and Naughty because yes. Oh, it's good that other people are standing up for them. Actually, one thing I've actually wondered that I can't remember off the top of my head. Which is actually more valuable? The, uh, the, sorry, the, how do the US, Australian, Canadian dollars compare to each other? Which is actually the more I valuable? I believe it's, I believe the... I believe the US dollar is 
I believe it's like US dollars as the more valuable and then the Canadian dollars is a little bit under that and then the Australia and New Australian, Zealand uh, yeah and yeah I, don't know how I thought I would have thought that's how it was dollars, so I you see know. actually we've got our first little choke point here where these guys are trying to force the way to choke point but I think it gives you the advantage just a little bit and we've got final oh, waves. Oh, naughty is more valuable. Oh, that is, that is true. Uh, very sweet. Okay, that's a fairly strong unit up here. This is this might be a little bit on the tight side, but these guys also don't have commanders, and I do, so we should be all right. So these guys are just going to come over here and grab over here and intercept them. And, oh, uh oh. Okay, you're actually coming over here to try and take out that house, are you? Sorry, I didn't realize they were going to come around this narrow pass here. I thought they were going to make their way up to the house on the top. Still. Once again, manageable. But you'll notice that we're running out of guys by the end here. You are running out of guys a little bit. So this guy was down to only four additional men and four additional men. So we lost about half our men there. And once again, not a very valuable island. Only four coins. But because it's actually four coins, I'm going to give all of them to Joyce. Six coins is important because six coins is where you can start affording to upgrade your guys. And upgrades are very, very good indeed. So move them forward. And then... I quite like that basically we're playing as the Weasley twins right now. Uh -huh. we, we are basically playing as the Weasley twins at the moment. So Joyce gets to be upgraded where your choice is basically Archer, Long Range, Infantry, General, pretty good, versatile in general, and Pikes. Basically impenetrable static defense, but not so good on the move. I personally have a strong preference for Infantry. Um, as the first unit because it's flexible. It can do a bit of anything. And just on the off chance the enemy starts deploying... Um, archers basically infantry hard counters them meanwhile <laughs> pikemen get screwed apart like pikemen do have a blind spot they can't deal with archers like well at all they'll get torn apart by that whereas infantry don't have a blind spot infantry can go and take on they hard counter archers and they can do a decent job against anything else so i pretty much always have my first unit be in infantry we are playing on hard mode by the way there's normal and hard mode normal i think is too easy like the difficulty plateau is a bit too low and it's very slow to scale up I personally find uh, hard mode is is how you should do it. Also, I need to be really careful because I'm actually playing this game window. Claire can see this. I'm playing this game window, so when I close this, I need to click this. I need to click this one and never there's the there's the actual yeah, X yeah, of the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I need to make sure I'm clicking the right X. Maybe I'll just yeah. I'm just gonna press escape. I'm just gonna press escape and never press the X. That's probably more sensible. Uh, you can also get a view for what like what each island's gonna look like ahead of time. Uh, just because, yeah, once you actually see what each island actually looks like, then you can kind of have an idea how easy it is to defend. Because yellow represents houses, <laughs> the size of the yellow represents how big is the house, and um, and you can see the hills, so like how likely it is going to be easy to defend. So, like, uh, you can also therefore guess how much money you're going to get out of each one. So, for example, that's probably either... That's probably four coins there. That's probably four with two, one, and one. That's probably a two, a two, and a one. Thing is, there's an item here. Okay, that little, um, that heptagon represent, represents an item. But I need to head up this way to make sure I don't get locked out of this. So I'm going to go up to here first. Because I want to get a third person as my priority. And if I have to lose an item to get a third person, I'm willing to do it. So, yeah, nothing too... Actually, this one's interesting. Because they physically can't approach from this angle. Um, so, as a result of that, they're basically... It's all going to be down here. So, I'm going to try to not sacrifice this house, but I might have to. We'll have to flipping see. And we've got, yeah, you can see the guys who I just upgraded to infantry. They've actually got little shields, which is kind of cute, I think. Uh, so, let's just get them down onto the low ground in preparation for all of this. But, yes. I just love the way this game looks, by the way. I think it looks really cute. And it's really, really damn cute. Uh, so, right now, we've got ourselves... What's the way up? Is there actually a... Ah! Okay. There's actually, yeah, there's only one way up there. So I'm just going to have you there. You guys come over here. And then basically we'll have just blocked you up right here. So they, I don't think they've actually got a way to get up this path. Because this little plateau here is only for people who happen to choose to land on that square. Other than that, they can't get anywhere. So these guys are just going to come ashore here. You notice there's now quite a few more of them in the actual box. And just send these guys down just to reinforce. Get them in the back. So therefore we take less casualties. But I've still taken two infantry loss immediately. So this is a little bit, a little bit dicey. But I'm just going to send those guys back up to the high ground because they're not so good. If I've got time, I might need to go and rest these guys up in the house at the top. And then send some more people down. We should be okay for the time being though. And wait for them to come ashore. And, okay, send these guys down now. Reinforcements coming in. And boom. 
Okay, these guys are starting to get a little bit on the weak side. Yeah, this is a good time to rest you. I'm going to send my actual infantry for a rest because this is an excellent opportunity because there happen to be two boats and only two boats coming for this spot. This spot can only be accessed. It kind of shows you if you click on them unless it goes into slow-mo mode. It's not pause, it's just slow-mo. You can see that there's only one spot up from here. So these guys can just hold this spot and if those were spearmen, they'd be in great shape. And now that those guys are in that house, basically that timer is now ticking up. They should be healed up by the time the final wave actually comes in. These guys have got the advantage because they've got high grounds. So they didn't really take much in the way of damage there. And the infantry is now back where it should be. These guys are over here. The battered basic soldiers can come and deal with this group. So there's only three in that boat. There's like six over here. Should be absolutely fine. So in over there. And in you go now. And you over here. And this should be absolutely fine. Spot on. So yeah, the infantry, as long as you have the chance to rest them, they hit a lot harder. Still only four coins though. But four coins does give me another upgraded person. So he'll probably become pikeman. And that opens up. Let's have a look see. Okay, take the turn. Where's the... Okay, because I've got this available now, I'm going to rush down here for the item, because if I don't get the item this turn, I'm going to lose that, because the dotted line means next time you rest, that's the end. But the other Weasley twin is going to be upgraded to Pikes. I do not believe in having archers if you've only got two. Uh, if you've only got two guys, because they're just not, they're just not good enough. They, they get caught out of position. They're really powerful, they've got high DPS, but they get caught out of position really easily. So, we're going down to uh, Solnaska. And we're going to get a random item. Some items are great. Some items are just okay. And um, yeah, because you're a Viking, you can just kind of basically anything that you can see is available to you. So we can just sell between the items. You do not need to follow the lines, which is kind of weird. It feels like you should do that. That kind of fooled me the first couple of times I've played. But here we are. Right. This should not be too difficult. But again, how's this on the bloody low ground, which is a bit more difficult? Uh, we got the pikes. The pikes basically... If they're holding a fixed position are amazing. And if they're caught out on the move... No, they're terrible. Um, so yeah, basically, it, it's just, it's, well, I say it's a phalanx. Some people call me out and then say, John, it's not a phalanx, but it's kind of a phalanx. Uh, so I'm just going to have these guys, yeah, I'm going to have one of you over here. I'm going to have you over here. And then basically, we're just going to have them caught between the two of us. So hopefully you'll get to see the actual pipemen action. So yeah, they kind of deliberately face off against the enemy. And wait, and wait, and just look at them. Look at them to try and get in. And then my infantry sweep in. Dead without loss. Pikemen, if you can get them in the right position, are amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, uh, yeah, they're, they're absolutely incredible. So now, basically, I'm going to use these guys to block up the low pass in case they go for this house over here. And these guys can just basically block up the actual pass that leads up to the houses. So they're going to be coming from this angle, straight to prepared spearmen up a hill. It's not going to end well for them. And I imagine they're going to try and make it up here. Because generally they beeline for whatever the nearest house is. So they're almost certainly going to try... Ah, they're waiting for their friends actually. They're going to try and go up the hill and straight into the prepared pikemen. And look at that. Super dead. Nice. So this is all very manageable. Claire, over to you. Yeah, shout out to... Oh, sorry. Shout out, shout out to... to... Warm. Warm. <laughs> Shout out to Tree Shaker Tucker who gave us two pounds and said hi guys, uh, and to Amy Grace who gave us a five forty nine Canadian dollars. Ooh, good dollars. And says welcome back, Claire. Love to Tabby and hi to John. Uh, and shout out also to Urban Cohort who uh, gave us six dollars sixty six and said thank God you're back, Claire. Maybe you'll be able to keep John from going full grey lord. <laughs> Rel of the kind, or oh, good character, excellent character. Do you remember Grelord, George? Oh, more or less. Uh, we're a little bit outnumbered okay. here. I'm a little bit concerned about. Actually, you know, get it, get over to here. Get over to here. Oh, they're struggling to get into position now. This is. Oh, this is. This is. This is not so good. Right, drop a position there, and um, we've got ourselves. Actually, where's the? Did I just lose one of the guys? Oh, I think someone just died while I wasn't paying attention. Claire, I've decided this is your fault, and this is. Oh, this has gone horribly wrong. Oh, this has gone... This is this has gone completely tits up. This is... Are you dead already? Yep, completely dead. Woohoo! That, that was because I wasn't paying... I just didn't pay enough attention to where they were going to be going next. And then I sent that guy in. Right, so... We now know how this goes. We now, now know how that goes. That's an example. Okay, I'm going to be honest. The video you saw where I made a video of this, that was actually... 
That was actually the fourth attempt. This game is, it can be, in its early stages, can be absolutely cocking brutal. And if you don't get lucky with the first few islands, like, one of the first islands can totally screw you over, like, so badly. So what happened when uh, we walked out to lunch today is that I told Don that, um, you know, when I watched the video, uh -huh. the game seemed relatively easy and that I didn't think it was going to be that challenging for a stream. Uh -huh. uh, at which point John was like, you are so wrong, it is so hard, I will die. A lot. Yeah, you can really die a lot in this game. Like, if you get a, if you get like an unfortunate thing, you, you really need to like play the first few islands until you get like your third person. You need to be playing like perfectly <laughs> uh, and get down there and, and help the out. And the Vikings defeated the English again, says Paolo. Damn straight. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, you've really got to be, you've got to be absolutely the first few islands. Like, really, you've got to be rushing to the third person. Like, the third person makes it a lot easier. Uh, that makes it an awful lot easier. Like, before you get your third person, you can be so screwed. I, I should really have rushed to that third person. Because if I'd gone north, you get the third person immediately. And then just swarm them. Okay, we're a little bit... Okay. You've lost three. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to heal up you because yeah. I think you can handle this. Yes. Uh, Luke in the chat says you need two units of shielded infantry veterans for mid-game because uh, there'll be axe throwers and you'll be murdered. Ooh, axe throwers. I haven't come across them yet. <laughs> yeah, because he got murdered. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so there you go. Um... Mm -mm. All right, looks like those guys are going to be healed up just in time for the final wave. Not so bad at all. And the final wave looks like it's all coming in over here. Let's just get you over to here, get you over to here. Yeah, they don't have a... There's no way up there. No, there's no way up. So basically, I can just catch them here and I can get behind them. So this is actually pretty easy for a first island. And they're all coming in together. They're going in over there and then just get over there, get in behind them. Oh. Job done. Nice and easy. Shots fired, Jared. Uh huh. Uh, Jared on uh, Jared gave us two dollars uh, and says Rachel wouldn't have let us die so early. <laughs> A shout out to Patrick who also gave us uh, nine dollars ninety nine and said welcome back, Claire. Oh. So there you go. That one was nice. I'm I'm glad Claire's back oh. too. This is a good second island. We've got, that looks like six coins on this island. So that's a good second island. But okay. it's kind of worrying. I haven't seen a single third person yet. You really need, because like it's pure chance whether people or items are spawned. And I know for a fact there's no person on any of these islands because a banner would already have appeared if there were. So okay, I'm a little don't... bit worried. Yes. You need to let me talk when you're in the thing. And you're not. Go ahead. This, this one should be pretty calm at first. <laughs> Shout out to Stupider I'm With. Who gave us fifty dollars? Oh wow! Oh, thank, thank you, you so so much. So much. Uh, and says here's something to cover your first wreath. Uh, just found your channel and I've been enjoying it immensely. Mm -hmm. uh, so thank you very very much indeed. Uh, and yeah, shout out to uh, Mega Raptor also. Who, Hello, Mega Raptor. Uh, gave us another five dollars before he left earlier. Said um, sending money so Venus can send a super sweet. A sweet super chat joke to Naughty. Uh, Venus, out reply me in chat. Aww. Um, and Lucy gave us $5 and says, all caps, where is she? I'm not sure. Uh, Probably Rachel. If you mean Rachel. <laughs> Basically. Everyone, well, everyone wants Rachel. No one even remembers Jen. No one even remembers many a true Jen. Yeah, um, I mean, this is entirely useless knowledge, but it is also funny that like another one of our very 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 good friends who is also friends with Jen is called Rachel. That's true. It's a different Rachel though, not yeah. with an A. That's true. That is very true. And I, I, nev I never I never had and I never had a ago. and I never had a crush on her. Good. That would be real awkward. No, it wouldn't. We have we have friends who who did have a who did have a crush on her. It's not okay, wrong. It's not, it's like not wrong. actually bring other people into this conversation. John. Okay, but let's also be clear. It's not morally wrong to have previously had a crush on someone who's married now. If they weren't married at the time, that's not morally wrong. No. No. But I think that's no, now we're making it weird. Uh huh. Don't make it weird, John. Uh huh. I like making it weird. 
Get over there, get over there, get in there, slaughter all of them. This wasn't so bad. Now, the thing is, this island, because there's way more houses, I think this should be yielding six coins. Yeah, six coins. So that's a really good haul for island two. That kind of offsets that. So that means I can get one person up to upgraded immediately, and the other person almost there, which is good. And once again, I'm going for infantry first. Ah, there's my first person down there, not too far away. Good, on the island of On. That is... That'll do. That'll do. Claire, to you. Uh, shout out to Sudabai, who gave us five Canadian dollars. Good dollars. Said, From the title, is this game just about Canada? <laughs> uh, and Grey Morality gave us another five... Uh, gave us five dollars also, and says, um, in reaction to everybody welcoming me back, well, I don't know, because... When Claire went away, I got a sweet song about me. That's true. Anyone, uh, the, the rule was, if I basically, your super chat was overlooked, I need to be reminded about it by Thomas, unless we have to come back for it later. You got a song. Wow. You got like an improvised <laughs> song. It was basically always the same song, just with kind of slightly mumbled lyrics as I went. Okay, go on then. Huh? Well, you don't get a song. I haven't forgotten your super chat. Donate if you want a song. No, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nice and dead. You notice that, like, the, what you really want to do is you want to, like, you know, if someone's coming in there, you want to have, like, guys here and here so they can be, like, ambushed from multiple sides because definitely if you, like, attack them in the rear, once they're already engaged somewhere else, that definitely works for the better. <laughs> uh, get that over there. He's definitely going to be trying to climb up here. Shout out to Retro for the win in chat who says John should have been an excellent gravekeeper considering how his dig falls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we got plenty more people coming in from this angle. There we go. Oh, hang on, that's okay, that's that's quite a few people for this this early on actually. That's that's quite a few. Okay. Gonna be a little bit worried about this and get in there. Hit them. My guys should do a pretty decent job. Are you trying gonna try and climb up or yeah, you're gonna try and climb up into there. This is now okay, get over there. Hit these guys, please. Excuse me. Just go and Go and murder these guys, please. Okay, you need to heal up, like, now. <laughs> I'm I'm actually really nervous about this run already. Uh, okay, we're just... Uh, these houses are being sacrificed. These houses are being sacrificed right now to buy time. Because I don't know what the hell else I'm supposed to do. So, fortunately, that should hopefully buy enough time to... This run could be over. This run could be over before it begins. Uh, yeah, those houses are just having to be sacrificed, which is a real shame. <laughs> Uh, okay, now get back over here. You get over here. And now we've got enough to take out the final bow. Uh, just. Whoa, that. That's. That's what the early islands can be like. That's. That's, that's just the early islands, right? Flipping there. Ring. Oh, ring of command's good. I think that's plus two. Is it plus two or plus three? I can't remember. Anyway, that's an upgrade. Uh, so that's good. We, we've got some good stuff there. And we're nearly at person three. I'm just going to rush to person three now. Because I, I need that third person as soon as possible. This person could be upgraded to pikes again. I like the, the basic upgrades there. So we got that. And yeah, ring of command is... Yeah, squad size from nine to twelve. Which I would therefore like to give to my infantry. Just because they're the more mobile, generally useful force for the time being. Uh, so right now, that's 12 infantry per battle and 9 pikemen, which is, I'm pretty happy with. So let's just head down over to, that one just yields more men, though actually it's a bit more, both of these are kind of open islands, to be honest, which I'm not thrilled by, but we'll try Grenick. Um, I've been a bit unlucky with some of the island generation here. Right, Claire, to you while we wait for the first to arrive. Hey, uh, shout out to Venus, who gave us two pans and says, uh, I'd like a song to my wives, if you don't mind. Uh-huh. Song to Venus's wives. Venus' wife song. Claire's giving me such a look. <laughs> anyway, shout out to Naughty, who gave us two Australian dollars and says, Sing Venus an apology song, John. Apology song? But an apology song. Apology song. Apology song. Apology song for Venus. Woo. There we go. I think that. Yeah, they're just walking around the pikes. You absolute bastard. You don't know. You don't just get to walk around the pikes. Bastards. Get him. Get him. Get up the hill. Kill him. Okay, this that didn't go so well. Oh, we've already got the we've already got the lads with the flipping spikes coming in. This is good. So that was actually we barely lost anyone in that. So that worked out surprisingly well. Uh, they're going to come in over here. 
And you can just be over here. Okay, so in come these guys who are very resistant to... Yeah, look at that. That's very, very nice indeed. So, yeah, you just got to get the pikes positioned correctly. Do not put the pikes directly in front of where the boat's going to land because they'll be bumped back by the boat arriving and then they'll be so screwed. Oh, this island is not fun. This is <laughs> this is not a fun island right here. Aww. I'm just going to draw up a, a line of pikes um, and we're going to assume they're going to be going in this direction. But this is... There's probably going to be casualties. Though pikemen, for the most part, don't take terrible casualties because as long as they've been placed correctly, they should do okay. We've still got good numbers here. We should be okay for the time being. What more's coming in? Basically, I'm just drawing up close by to the houses and just letting the pikemen do their jobs. Oh, hang on, there's... That's a big... Okay, you can handle that. You guys get over... Actually, this is not a bad spot for these guys. Uh, so you guys handle this. And final wipe. That's not... This isn't the final wipe. This is not looking good. But the pikemen can look at that. The pikemen slaughtered that. What's the final wave? There's got to be... Yeah, there's a bit more than that. You can take care of these guys. You are going to have to take care of these guys. Uh, that should hopefully be good enough to... Uh, yeah, here. Get them right there. And hope that those pikemen can do the job against the the, uh, the actual shield lads who are a bit tougher. They're basically just infantry. They're basically infantry. So when they come and... Oh, they're going straight up the hill! Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, you... Okay, swap positions, swap positions, swap positions, swap positions, swap positions, swap positions. And now, now the, the phalanx is in trouble. The phalanx is in a huge amount of... Okay, go, go. Okay, these guys need to get out of there. Just go, just run, just run. Right, you guys get out of there. He didn't die. The commander survived. Ah, I wasn't expecting them to just run up the hill, but we're okay. We got this. Just. But I, I was not expecting them to just run straight up the hill there. I thought they were going to go for this house. But we got all the money, including our first three coin house. The big square house is worth three. So we do actually have a big pile of money right now, which is nice. Sadly, you can't bank it to hand over to the new guy who's about to be coming in. Uh, so in which case, I'm just going to give it all to this guy. He gets his upgrade. Yeah, he's going to get his upgrade at some point. Actually, I'm... Hmm. Yeah, you know, I'll give it all to him. I'll get him up to a level... I'll get him up to a level two as soon as we can. Still, we got all the money. Oh, and there's another... There's another thing right there. So, when you see one of these um, banners, that means when I get to the island, basically... Oh. Okay, I need to go over here. Oh, no. If I don't go to Sharp Rock, I don't get that item. Because Sharp Rock's about to become unavailable. But then... No, I, screw it. I don't care what that item is. I just want to rush to person three and four. So now there's going to be basically a basic crappy unit spawning in automatically with me. His name's Odette. He's the ugliest bastard that's ever lived. Um, and he's just going to be a basic lad, so watch out for him. He's not as strong as the others. Uh, but he is still useful, and three makes the world of difference. Claire, to you. Yeah, a uh, shout out to uh, Venus and Naughty, who both... Uh, Venus said, I genuinely burst out laughing. Natalia says, I'm cackling. Uh, so they liked it. Serona says, John, can you do it again to the tune of Skater Boy since it keeps showing up in my suggestion feed and I blame you. Shh, can't possibly be my fault. <laughs> oh. I mean, it probably can't, you know, because of the algorithm, but we can still blame him. That's just how it works. Uh -huh. Anyway, shout out to Main Marco. Oh, wait, you know? didn't actually let me do it. He was an apologetic boy. He said, sorry, Venus girl. Oh, okay. He wasn't good enough. He bad. wasn't good enough he for her. He wasn't good That's enough true. at Bad North. <laughs> but, but like also for her. He had too many archers he because he because he overvalued. Hey, that's not true. <laughs> no, that's not true. Boo, boo. <laughs> that's not true, but it is like it does fit with the song better than Bad North does. Yeah, and the enemy have started deploying uh, archers. Who mm -hmm. are basically are useless against infantry, by the way. So if I just basically, if you just send infantry to the shore, <laughs> there's nothing stop. they can do. <laughs> and in they come, in they anyway. come, in they come, and I'll just basically finish them off. Hand to hand archers are garbage, so we can just literally push them into the sea, and everything is fine. Anyway, shout out to Main Marco who gave us five dollars and says hi, John and Claire. Hope all is well. Here's to another great stream by the best of YouTube. Oh, thank you so much. That's very kind. With only a tiny bit of death in it. Mm-hmm. Damn straight. Hit. Are they gonna go for the? No, they're going over here. Uh, that's fine. Infantry, we can handle. Okay, doing all right so far. That guy's probably gonna try and make it up to that. No, that's that's archers. So I can just basically deploy my infantry to just draw the fire, and there won't be a problem. Claire. 
Uh, yeah, shout out to Squeeze Central who gave us 20 pounds uh, and says, Hey, John and Claire, hope you're both okay. Can you give a shout out to the person that got me into many a true nerd? Freya, who is amazing, and I'm hanging with him now, and I'm enjoying the Cornwall love as I was born there. Hello, Freya. Hey, Freya. Thank you for your assistance. And what are we going to do here? Probably move you to about here, and probably move you to about here, and just wait for the the other unit to pop. Should hopefully be just before. Yeah, the other unit pops just in the nick of time. And working very nicely over there. Those guys take care of you. Yeah, their infantry's been torn up by mine. Okay, that was a lot. You see, that one's a lot smoother because I had the three. So, only four coins, unfortunately. Which means I don't have enough to upgrade this guy, which is a shame. But I don't want to wait just in case there's, like, not six coins in the next. So, I need to come around what's next. So... Continue. He's got four coins. I'll probably make him into an archer. I do want at least one archer present because the DPS on them is really high. But now, unfortunately, that line moves over there. So, mound and its item is now completely unavailable to me, which is a real shame. Uh, I'm going to move on to pebbles because if I get nice and far ahead of the line here, it means I've yeah. got more options down the line. Uh, so, I'll have more options around here. So, I'm going to move straight on because, like, this looks like this place is only going to produce four coins because the, the big square is a three and the tiny square is a one. So, four coins isn't that much. Pebbles, however, looks like quite an interesting island with that's two, four, five. There might be a whole seven coins there, uh, which would be a really good amount right there. In fact, actually, that might be enough for upgraded infantry and uh, a unit of archers, which would be really cool indeed. So, I think we should be okay. This is one of the more interesting islands. So we've got ourselves... Oh yeah, it's one of those islands where there's flipping uh, cave passes. Where there's the, the weird cave pass thing. So, for the most part, if I just... If I'm willing to sacrifice that house, it becomes very easy. Because then I can just block things up with uh, spears. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Claire! Uh, shout out to Urban Cohort, who gave us $66.60. Wow, thank you very, very thank much Thank you indeed. very, very much indeed. Um... You usually donate 6.66. I, I, sure, I sure hope you meant to do that and you didn't just add an extra zero. Because that sounds like a thing I would do uh, by <laughs> mistake. But yeah. Uh, he says, John is a walking, talking, li living, breathing, thinking, question mark, Crusader Kings 2 character. Maybe if we amputate your leg, we can cure his perception. Oh, I don't do that. I don't amputate my leg. My kind of, you may notice my phalanx kind of fluffed up a little bit there. They mm -hmm. definitely had a few problems. They, they kind of got knocked out of position. That guy's totally going over here, which works for me, because that means I can just basically have my phalanx redraw up here, and that should block up everything, because that should be, I think that's blocking up the right spot. Let's just get some reinforcements behind them, just in case, because no one else is coming in right now. Yeah, you notice, by the way, that the game kind of, like, um, it themes the islands a little bit. So this island is, like, you know, bo larger boats of lots of people. And then we come, yeah, there we go. They're trying to advance up the passageway, and it is not working at all. Send the lads with the shields round over here towards the, uh, yeah, over to here. And it will do absolutely nothing. Back off. And that guy's that guy's continually trying to make it up, but he can't. <laughs> is he finally dead? He's finally dead. Yay. Finish you off. Lovely. This is going pretty well so far. That's archers. We'll just go and intercept them with my infantry. And the other guys are... Ah, this works for me. Uh, you're coming to that spot right there, which means there's no way you're getting past these, uh, these pipes. But just in case... Oh... Get over there and finish them off. It would be nice if infantry like had an auto chase function because they do sometimes struggle a little bit in that regard. Oh, this is. I was about to send this guy to rest, but now there's bloody massive piles of of archers coming in. Uh, you guys get back, get back, get back, and you guys get over here, get over here, get over here. Uh, yeah, get over here, and you actually block up the block up over here. Because they're going to have to try and advance sooner or later. They're going to have no choice. Uh, yeah, and we come. So I might need to send these guys down. Are they going to try and actually advance? I don't know. Uh, screw it. Get down over there and just uh, go and go and wipe them out. We'll take some damage here. We should be alright. Was that the final wave? It might have been final wave. Yeah, that was actually the final wave. Good. 
So that was actually nice and smooth there. Hey John, here's the thing you maybe you could do. Yes. You could think of upgrading your units. Yes, well, yes, I'll do that in a second. <gasps> oh. Odette needs to get up to six, and that leaves me with... Okay, but John. Yes. The English potato is just reading me a picture of John the kitten being adorable. <gasps> so, you know. Oh, John the kitten's growing up so fast. I know. Oh, they grow up so fast. I mean, I grow up so fast. Oh. <laughs> John the Kitten is pretty flipping cute. Very cute. So, we've just got enough money from this nice island for something very, very cool indeed. Which is, if I just move time on right now. Uh, one, Adette now gets to be upgraded to archers, who I'm only going to have one of. Uh, I definitely don't need more than one archers. But I think the, the DPS on archers is really, really high. Uh, and Eldred, who is my, uh, yeah, my kind of very dour looking uh, lad who's actually got himself... The actual, yeah, he's actually got himself the, uh, uh, the ring. He can also have, wait, what's that? Okay, apparently that was this playthrough. If you'd asked me, I'd have said that was the last one. But no, the last one ended too soon. Fine. I'd forgotten he had the ring of command. Uh, so he can actually be upgraded from standard to veteran. Basically just a general round improvement. Um, by the way, I could also give him a special ability, but the special ability of the infantry I think is total garbage. Plunge, you jump um, off a cliff and hit the exact cell beneath you doing damage. Like, the amount of times when you're going to be on the cliff above an enemy and you're going to be able to hit them because the enemy aren't just running straight past is, like, non-existent. So, no, I'd rather just veteran him and just have him be generally a lot better. I just think that's a lot better to do. And as soon as I can, I'm going to upgrade um, Donnelly up to... Hmm, excuse me. Up to veteran. But more importantly, we have ourselves person number four here. So we can get straight away to the fourth unit. Now, this is where it starts getting a bit more manageable. Once you've actually got four on board. Hello, Phyllis. Welcome aboard. Uh, it's, it's a lot more manageable. A lot more. But uh, again, it's a, it's a bit unfortunate that there's this one house down here that we'll have to deal with. But still, shouldn't be too bad to do. Claire, to you. Yeah, shout out to Freya, who gave us five pounds and says, Hello, it's Freya here, re responding to Squeeze Central. Can you tell her she's a giant butt? You are a giant butt. Wait, wait who's, who's a giant butt? Squeeze Central is a giant butt. Squeeze Central, you are a giant butt. Yes. Squeeze Central. Squeeze Central. Yes. That's what I said. What did you think I said? Well, I couldn't, I thought you, like, I thought there was, like, a weird extra syllable in there. That's fine. I don't think so. Hopefully mm, not. Anyway. Hopefully not. Anyway, shout out to uh, Deathane, who gave us $20, uh, and says, yay, Claire's back! Claire uh, is back. That is true. John now has to, quote, behave, and Tabby will use her box properly and not smell of the flat. Yeah. I mean... There look, we go. Tabby is, a great, Tabby is the greatest of cats in many ways. Uh -huh. But being good at catting is not one of them. Yeah, as I was pointing this out today. Tabby is catting is not her her her, her strong point. No. It's, look, it's 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 been pointed out in fact many times. She's she's delightful. She's not very good at being a cat, bless her. Yeah, she's not she's not a very good cat. She is a very good cat. She's not very good at being a cat. Of course, sorry, the subtle distinction. Yeah. Yes. Language is a thing that means something. It's important. Oh, I've got to start right. on linguistics. Pot kettle. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yes. Anyway, more links to John the kitten being adorable in the um, in the tw in the chat. And quite right too. Uh, yeah. And uh, Nicopole gave us five Australian dollars and responded to your question earlier. The Australian dollar is better because you can fork the five dollar note to create an illusion of a whale. Can you? I think this has come up before on the stream, but yeah, basically, if you <laughs> there's not much to do in Australia, clearly. <laughs> well, just, it's, just... it's just got it's got a picture of the Queen on it that has, and she's got like pearls on and whatever, and like a little brooch or whatnot on her shirt. Uh -huh. And if you fold it, basically, it 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 does look like a whale, you know. Uh huh. <laughs> It's not clearly not enough to do in Australia. <laughs> no idea enough. It really enough. does look like a whale uh, having some fun times. Uh huh. That's what if, we're If you say it. so. If you say so. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, this is literally the first outing that my archers have had, and it's on just flipping. Um, uh, we're on this stupid flipping island where it's been nothing but the shield lads constantly. <laughs> it's mildly annoying. 
Uh, but it should be fine. And this is the final wave right here. And now just basically get him in over here. Get him in over here. Now we just basically overwhelm them. Any of them try to go this way, run straight into a spear wall. And job done. Nice and simple. Uh, not a house lost. And now we've got some money coming in. So now things... Now we enter the point of the game where things are manageable. Okay. Things are manageable at this point. I'm going to give this all to Phyllis so I can upgrade him as soon as possible. There's actually only five coins there. Um, so there's like a brief window here where everything's okay. Because everything's okay now because I've got four people and the units aren't so bad yet. But... At some point, pretty soon, like barbarians and axe throwers are going to start showing up. And then it's going to go to hell again. So there's a, the, the beginning of the game on hard mode is really hard. Then if you can just get a couple of people in, you stabilise in a reasonable state. And then you've just basically just got to try and survive. Um, and then you kind of, yeah, then, then you're in a good state. And then things go wrong again. So over to Pabay. Well, I think this, this was a weird island. Actually, I really hope they land over here. Because if they land over here, I can just basically block up this bit. And we'll be in good... Good shape. Really good shape, in fact. Yeah, actually, I'm happy with this place. This place works for me. I'm just going to have you over here by default, damn it. Right, Claire, to you. Yeah, uh, shout out to Flavia, who uh, wanted to know, will John ever play for honor again now that it's been mostly fixed? Was it broken? I don't know. I didn't think it was. I wouldn't have described it as needing fixing, to be honest. I thought it was all right. I just, uh, I, it just really you know, wasn't necessarily uh, like exactly my thing, but. Well, I think they, they said uh, in a, it's in a better state now. It's it's got actual dedicated servers, so I don't really. I never had them. server problems with it at the time. It worked pretty well for me. I think they, anyway, they were pretty. They did a pretty good job on making the launch pretty smooth. They also did a fan art on the uh, subreddit. Oh. Bad North fan art. This is probably not the right time to make you look away from me. I screen. can't read the text. It's a bit small. The text is literally just repeating the question about, um, about, uh, oops, the game that they mentioned. Uh, for, oh, Firana. For Anna. And it's pronounced Firana. It's not pronounced Firana. It is actually pronounced Firana. Really? Well, n no, oh. it's just, it, it, I, I always pronounce it that way because, um, during the E3 showcase for it, they brought out, it was being introduced by this guy with this really weird, thick American accent, and he kept pronouncing it as Firana. <laughs> Maybe oh it was my god, that's amazing. Sorry. Yep, so that's it, not amazing. So it, but it, I, I've always called it Ferrana. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I said that's amazing. I didn't mean what you just said. I mean, uh, Nick Paul, just uh, let us know in the chat. Um, I left out the best part, which is that recently they redesigned the five uh, the five dollar note and they left the whale penis being untouched. Excellent. I approve. So there you go. Let's quickly put those guys chased down. Okay, they're dead, right? Yeah, get them back over here. And now we've got... Ah, now we've got something a bit interesting over around over here. You guys get over to here. You guys get on top and you guys get over here. They're probably going to try and run up. That is the logically closest house. Uh, are they? Or are they... No, okay. I'm kind of surprised they're not. But I've got archer support. And once they're engaged, you can actually take out the shield guys with... Uh, with bows. Uh, okay, so in which case, hang on. You guys, we need you round over here as quickly as you can. Just drop into position there. They have no chance of getting past this. And then get you over here. Final wave incoming. Yeah, if you just happen to get lucky with the island generation, you're in really good shape with pikemen. Because pikemen can just hold a choke point like that basically forever. Uh, and now we've got... Is that just nothing but archers? The final wave just a huge... Yeah, the final wave's a huge pile of archers who are going to be able to do literally nothing to you guys with shields. Like, it's not even just like they do less. They do nothing. They're just... They're, they're 100% garbage. And now we can basically just chase them into the sea. And boom. That one was super easy because of the weird island generation that gave me this choke point over here. Only five coins, mind. But that is enough to upgrade you... And then start you on the way to veteran scene, which is good. Uh, so, pretty happy with that. Right, let's actually... Oh, Right, okay. It, it's time It's time for... Time for a bit of a discussion here. Okay, Claire, yeah. let, let's straw poll this. I'm going to... Let, let's, okay. let, let's let democracy decide. So, Phyllis... Phyllis, our fourth member, could be either a new... Um, a new infantryman or can be a new pikeman. This is my basic core team right now. So do I want to be running double infantry, one pike, one archer, or double pike, one infantry, one archer? So should Phyllis be infantry or pike? That 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 is the question. That is the, the important question here. 
what should Phyllis's job be? Because uh, like, I can see, I can see the benefits. Who's definitely not going to be an archer? Because uh, like I, I've you know definitely from playing this game a little bit, like running two archers is just not a good idea. Just because hey, they can't everyone, fight. Hey I'm making a straw poll. It's gonna go in the chat. You, uh, I can't count everybody's uh, opinions from chat. You need to use the straw poll. Mm -hmm. This is why I should have hired that guy from DuckTales, dear I flipping dear. Excuse me? There was a character in DuckTales whose special ability was he was capable of looking at anything and counting it instantaneously. Like if you showed him a jar full of things, he could tell you exactly how many was in there. Yeah. He was also the guy who was secretly Gizmo Duck. I am completely unable to count uh, boop, people boop, saying boop, infantry boop, or pike boop, boop, in the chat. Life like a hurricane here in Duck. Bug, race cars, lasers, aeroplanes. Woo! What? I don't know. It's a duck blur. Might solve a mystery. For the millions. Duck Town. Fucking <laughs> time. I don't know the English of any of the cartoons you grew up with. Fine, we'll, we'll every time we'll do the French versions then. Tortu ninja, tortu ninja. ninja. Yay! Yes, that is the French. Thank you. <laughs> ah, John, you're making me sound like an idiot in front of everyone. <laughs> they get angry when I don't know things. Oh. Nous sommes français parce que nous sommes tortu. No. <laughs> Please stop. Donatello. On vente les machines. C'est un fact. <laughs> Raphael est hyper cool. Michelangelo est doudou pâté. Totu ninja. Totu ninja. Et retourne son half shell. Pas du turtle. <laughs> um, hey. Shout out to Slurry Dude who gave us two Canadian dollars and says double pike team still doesn't count as a vote. Use. The straw poll, it's now 50-50. Uh, it's literally 50-50 right mm -hmm. now with 352 votes. So wow, okay. Use the straw poll right okay. now. It's really, really close. Uh, and shout out to Grey Morality who gave us $5 and says donation for DuckTail theme. Uh-huh. Uh, <sighs> if you haven't heard the new version, by the way, they, they did a kind of a slight. It it's the same theme, but slightly remixed. It's by a fem They got a female singer to do it for the new version. I thoroughly recommend listening to it. It's really damn good. Uh, the new, the new theme for the new series of DuckTales, where weirdly they got David Tennant to voice Scrooge McDuck. Though I guess they had to because the original guy is dead. Um, but I think he wasn't when they cast David Tennant, uh, which I, I did find very odd. Uh, I, I, I'm not a hundred percent convinced by David Tennant as Scrooge McDuck. Oh, yeah. uh, no, not quite. I like the fact that, you know, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and, and, and the other one actually have some personality now. That's mm -hmm. nice. Um, so that, that that's good at least. Right, what, what's the straw poll saying, Claire? The straw poll is saying... Oh, my goodness. It's... <laughs> what? <laughs> is it still stupid close? It is still stupid close. It's 50.24 to 49.76. All right, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get. There's gonna, one vote difference. How many votes total? There's 425 vote total, and every one vote, vote counts, difference. people. Every vote counts. Every vote counts. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Main Marco who gave us two dollars and says French singing John is awesome. Don't encourage him. <laughs> Okay. Ale Ale Princess to Power. No. Wait, hang on. Did do dinosaurs have different names in French? Or because they're like technical terms, are they are they above like language? Tyrannosaur? Yes. Yeah, well it's the same kind of it's the same word. Okay, Mastodon. Same. I mean, I don't know all you the don't, dinosaurs. You don't know what a fucking mastodon is? I do know what a fucking mastodon is, but I don't remember what the name of it is in French. <laughs> I'm assuming it's mastodon. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm assuming that. Oh, French zag. Mastodon. Mm -hmm. I approve. Anyway. Uh... And pterodactyl. Ooh, they got Catherine Tate to uh, voice one of the other characters in New Duckdales. Oh, is she the nanny by any chance? Mm -hmm. Mrs. Mrs. <gasps> something. 
there's some uh, there's some uh, shots fired in the chat. Grey uh, morality says Mastodon isn't a dinosaur. Well, in all fairness, mo quite in all fairness, half of the dinosaurs were dinosaurs. Saber toothed tiger, not a dinosaur. Mastodon, not a dinosaur. Dragon zord, not even a dragon, just a generic dragony thing. It was just Godzilla. Like, half of the dinosaurs were- and actually- So, I'm sorry, are you like very attached to mastodons as a dinosaur because of dinosaurs? Well, no, no. we didn't have dinosaurs no, no, in, in, in France. So that was- Sorry, you had Power Rangers but you didn't have dinosaurs. How'd you do that? I don't know. John, we had some Power Rangers I mean, not- You- you know who the expert on Power Rangers in this relationship is, don't you, John? Presumably me. Presumably you. Presumably me. <laughs> Like, haven't they actually recently decided pterodactyl isn't a dinosaur, actually? Mm -hmm. It's something else. I think pterodactyls are no longer deemed dinosaurs. Wasn't it supposed to be like a bird or something? Yeah. So we're down to actually two of the original six dinosaurs actually being dinosaurs. It's only the Triceratops and Tyrannosaurus. Mm -hmm. That's literally it at this point. <laughs> they're, slowly, they're slowly being... I mean, it's even more embarrassing, you know, when there was the Pluto Zord and him part of the planet Zords. That was just unfortunate when that happened. Claire, we need a final, we need a final result. It is now more than two votes difference. Okay. So I think we'll take that. Okay. Who, what's the uh, winner? Phyllis should be a Pikeman unit. Pikeman. 51.66% of the vote. I think this is the closest vote that we've had. I think uh, this is I think this what we're seeing here is we're seeing half people voting for Pikes because they want double Pike team and half people voting for infantry because infantry would actually have been the right choice. Double Pike team! Double Pike team! <laughs> I think is what we've just seen there. I think we've just seen basically memes overwhelm an actually good idea. Ooh, uh, uh, Tate is magic or dispel. Uh, oh, is she? Okay, yeah, I would have thought she was second. Mrs. What's her face. Um, hmm? Oh, her. Okay. Yeah. Although I'm not sure if we've actually seen her in the new version yet. I think she was just like being in the first series. She was just like being hinted at. I can't mm -hmm. remember if she's actually showed up yet. Right, we're heading over to Cole because there's an item there, mm -hmm. and now I've actually got my double pike team together with infantry. I bet the people who actually know. Him, I bet everyone who actually. Oh wow! <laughs> Check this out. All right, this island's cool. There's a massive house that he's defending on the bottom, and then a tidy house where the king lives on top. Mm -hmm. I approve of this. Right, well, the archer can obviously be right up on the flipping top. That's an excellent spot for my archer to just go and live. And other than that, we just need to basically just block up... Yeah, block up everything else as well as we can. And yeah, you guys... Oh, that's a lovely spot for you. That's just a beautiful spot. And then just we just prepare this... Can you even actually get... Ah, oh, there is actually a spot around there, but I don't think they're going to take it, probably. So, okay, so when we go, we got archers on the ludicrous high ground coming up against the double pike team. Just make sure nothing else is coming in. In they come, and straight into all of that. Don't charge forward. we got prepared defences. All right, they're here for a reason, though they're, sometimes they're a bit on the slow side. There we go. I think they all died. Uh, and the bed's getting casualties. The nice thing that, about double pike is if you just form a double pike defense, it's very hard for the enemy to get past. And if they can't get past, then... Oh, actually, there is... Okay, where are they going? It's possible they might go for that over there, so I just need to block them just in case. And just make sure these guys are under control. Where are you going? They're mostly dead. Right, get over here. Pikes, uh, form up defensively behind them, please. You guys get over to here. That should be fine. Yeah, that should be okay. And then just basically spike them to death. Good. Where are you going? You're going to that spot over... Oh, blimey, there's... Okay, you guys are going to have to go and take care of this. And the pikes are just going to have to basically come over here and... And hope, basically. It's a lot of people versus pikes. And go, 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 go. Oh, the pikes are doing... Oh, look at that. Look at the beauty of that. Oh, you've run around that way. Uh, okay, get around over here and just intercept them. Was that it? No, there's more yet. There's more flipping yet. Okay, you come over here and intercept these guys. You come over here and intercept. I think that boat's coming to this spot right here. So these pikemen can basically just block that up. And then these guys can just get over here and just swarm them the moment they land. Actually, this spot is fine, in fact. Okay, get on and get over there. Let's drive them back into the sea. And then the pikemen should. Look at that. The pikemen doing beautiful work there. One of those guys made it through. Finished them off. And that's probably... Okay, you guys get round over there. 
You guys get to over here. You guys take the... Oh, one of you still alive. Hang on, finish them, please. Thank you. You guys get over here. You guys get over here. That should be plenty to take care of all of this. Claire, this should be pretty much done. Oh, that isn't even the final wave. Okay, you see, this is starting to get a bit more hardcore. If you make one mistake or misclick, all of a sudden it's going to start really penalizing you for it. Right. You guys get over here. You guys... Oh, it depends where they decide Ooh. they want to go. You, That's a lot of people. That is an awful lot of people. That's a huge number of people, actually. I'm getting a little bit a bit nervous about this. Um, I'm going to assume they're going to possibly go for the high ground. I'm going to actually... You guys need to come around here to intercept just in case. We need, I want to clear out this group first. Clear out this group first and then get out of there. Oh, they've been scattered and that's no good at all. Uh, we should still do pretty well. How are you guys doing? Fall, fall back over here. One house has gone down. One of the units of pipemen is in trouble. Uh, yeah, this unit of pipemen needs to retreat. The greens need to... Okay, I'm, I'm going to have the greens. Everyone's going to retreat, actually. Everyone's going to... Excuse me, guys. Get up to the top. Purple, also get up to the top, please. Just basically retreat as best you can. Ho, ho, ho. That was two units on the edge. And we literally only got one. We only got one coin for that. Because the big oh. house went down. But we did get an item. Like, often the item islands give you less. So, I'll take it. Warhorn is basically, that's free reinforcements. So, that's that's not so bad. Right, Claire, back to you. Yeah, oh, sorry. Shout out to Jared who uh, gave us $5. <laughs> And says, I gotta run and grab lunch for my dad and me. Claire, please don't let John die again while I'm gone. <laughs> well, so far we've done okay with that, but I can make no guarantees. No promises. Shout out to Assassin Lupus, who gave us $5 and says, Hey John, who's this weird lady you got reading the chat? Her name's Rachel. <laughs> oh God. Anyway, shout out. Uh, <laughs> good to see you again too, Assassin Lupus. Uh -huh. uh, shout out yes. to Arthur, who uh, gave us two quid. And I uh, wanted to know if you were ever into any of the Elite games. No, not really. Never really played much of them, to be honest. Mm. Uh, this island works pretty well because for once, there's no houses on the low ground at all. So I can actually uh, basically, yeah, just basically bung up. Bung up the very few number of ways there are actually up and just basically hold out there. Which is, oh, it's barbarians! It's barbarians. Right, so barbarians are basically nasty bastards who, you notice the arrows just kind of bounce off them. Um, they need, they basically have a few hit points each. Uh, but pikes on the high ground can still do excellent things to them. Yeah, there you go. So they just went down, but oh, there's going to be more yet. Yeah. There's going to be plenty more yet. Yeah. Archers onto the high ground just basically start shooting. Okay, so the game has introduced barbarians. And yeah, you can see that... Um, they have, like, the equivalent of basically, like, I don't know. Have to see how many hit points they've got, roughly. See if I can figure that out. Because they've definitely taken... That guy at the back's taken, like, two hits or something. And then... Yeah, let me just look at that. They they take quite a few hits to go down. Quite a few flipping hits. Right, reinforcements coming in in the form of... That's quite a few archers over there. Everyone else just basically fall back. And the archers... Oh, my archer's doing a beautiful job clearing out those archers. And then you guys just get over here. Just go down and actually screw it. Just go down and finish them off. Get the pipe down out of position, out of position, please. And just get over there, finish them. You guys push these guys into the sea. I love how they get pushed into the sea. Now it's nothing but archers. Now it's a huge number of archers, which I'm very happy with. And my guys can just... Actually, you guys... I think they're coming over here, actually. I'm just going to have my guys move over here. Ready to intercept, and I'll have my archers on the high ground as well. This is manageable. This this I can manage pretty easily. Unless they're going to start shooting at the pikemen, which I hope they don't. But they no. Once they've picked a target, they're generally pretty committed to it. And then round over here, go 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 dead. Now we've got ourselves. Ah, that's that's quite a big unit over there. Okay, that's that's okay. Actually, I think there's only yeah, there's only a couple of ways you guys can go. So this is manageable. Get the reinforcements over here. Is that it? If they're just gonna come into basically the middle of two separate units of prepared spears, they're gonna be absolutely spiked to death. Yeah, there we go. Are you the last one? I think you might be the last one. Job done. Right, Onan was quite manageable. Good. So that actually gets me that gets me a few coins at least. Five, not spectacular, but it'll do. But that is enough for veterancy for Donaghy. So that is actually good news. Claire, to you. 
Yeah, shout out to Jade who gave us two pounds uh, and says, Hi John, hi Claire, how are you two doing today? I'm very well, thank you. Same, same, same. Good to be back. Uh, shout out to uh, Kryptonian Bosch who gave us five euros <laughs> and says, I just moved to the Netherlands to study and a time difference makes it much easier to catch these. Thank oh, you for good. all the good times over the years. I'm glad that we are more likely to be able to catch these things. That's very good news indeed. Actually, the name has just reminded me of something. Mm -hmm. um, people, if anyone like watched like the first episode or two of me, it's been of like that new Krypton thing. Is it actually any good? Because I'm going to be honest, I, I love Gotham. I think Gotham's great. But okay, here's the thing about Gotham. Because you're dealing with the past of Gotham, all of the Batman villains and most of the supporting cast can be present. Uh -huh. On Krypton, because you're like two generations behind Superman and you're on Krypton, you're not on Earth, most of the supporting cast can't be there. So even though, like, you know, I'm not going to say, oh, that's such a stupid idea. Because when I first heard about Gotham, that's such a stupid idea. Batman, but there's no Batman. But actually, I think it works really well. But Krypton, it's like Superman, but, like, none of the Superman stuff anyone's heard of or cares about. So does it work? Like, I'm, I'm curious as to whether it's any good if anyone's actually watched any of it. That is that that is something I'm interested in. Feel free to share. Let's go down here to Dragonair. Uh, hey, um, there might be there might be some people. Well, I mean, I guess if maybe if they're watching back, uh, they won't hear this. But as of now, we have you know we have voted on the pack in the artillery thing. We have done that. Uh, we have been you know over it. In fact, it's like, already it's already been assigned. The pikes. Yeah. It's already, in, uh, so please stop voting in the chat. I will have to start deleting it in a bit. Uh, because, yeah, because I feel like some people are getting a bit annoyed with it. So, uh, mm -hmm. that's your warning here. Uh, anyway, shout out to Conan, who gave us $20. And said, thank you for 7 billion humans watching your program and get better. It's great to watch. Aww. That's actually really sweet. That's thank nice. you. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I... Maybe now I'm going to have to watch that video if you're actually like, getting better. Well, the thing is, the pro it's it's this one, like, the first one was based, I think it was, like, Assembler. Uh, they're, like, they're all based on, like, real languages. But apparently this one was based on, like, not so much of one. Like, it was, it was, like, um, it was multi-threading, but it wasn't a particular language. Um, and to my mind, it just felt a lot more like Excel. Mm -hmm. It felt a lot more excel -y, so I felt a lot more comfortable with it. Because basically it was like, you know, one of the first things it was like challenging you was like, Hey, so how good are you at- Oh, bloody hell, look at that slaughter. Like, how good are you at coming up with the concept of having if functions within if functions, and then just like chains of if functions all the way down? It's like, that's like, you know, that's totally bread and butter to me. That's fine. I don't, you know, that doesn't bother me in the slightest. So that for me was not a problem at all. So I think I just felt a lot more comfortable with it on account of that. And where are you guys going exactly? Basically run them into the sea. Job done. And now they're going to come into the... Oh, the slaughter. Prepared spearmen on the high grounds. It's just beautiful. And we've got more coming in yet. Right, you guys get over here. Get over here. Fall back over here and deploy the archers over into this position. This is... Don't. This one's actually going pretty well, I'd say. Claire, all yours. Yeah, shout out to Paul, who gave us $5 and says, I'm watching from the past. Ooh. He's having an extra in a movie today. Surely you're watching from the future. What? He's watching the past, I think. Presumably. I, in, anyway, uh, I'm pretending to eat celery like my life depends on it. Welcome back, Claire. That's, that's one a hell of a note from the director. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Anyway. I, I too wish to be in a celery infomercial. <laughs> uh, shout out to Intermission who gave us £20 uh, and says, Hi John and Claire, still nice. working on the sci-fi book that I asked if I could use you guys in. Yay! But progress is slow uh, because my D&D group has actually managed to get a campaign that lasts more than three sessions going and I've been looking for work. Uh, so best of luck with the work, and yeah, that sounds like a, that sounds like a super fun with the D and D campaign. You know, I'm actually already in a sci-fi book. Okay. Two, in fact. Okay. Yeah, remember my old my old friend in Seattle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her yeah, books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I there are characters named for me in both of them. No, oh, that's very sweet. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah. So I'm um, actually, uh, if you ever read a sci-fi book, there's a chance if there's a character called John, that's me. That's literally named for me. I mean, Boom. you know. 
uh, we're not gonna quite go there. Hey, uh, and just a reminder that we need to have just English in chat because we need to be able to moderate it. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, other things will get deleted. Sorry about that. I know it might seem a little bit unfair if you're not English, but no, you it's understand. it's literally someone who is annoyed that I told them to stop using the artillery meme. Mm -hmm. So I think they're just, you know. Yeah, I, I, I don't even know what that English, is, but, but hey. it's starting to be a little bit irritating in the comments. Anyway, it's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to Callum, who uh, gave us five pounds, who says, uh, I'm a bit late, but hi, John, hi, Claire, and Tabby. Did I miss anything? Not so much, no. I think we are in good shape. And by the way, welcome to um, Pike Island. Great. Welcome to Impossible Impenetrable Castle Island. This is going to be very good. This this is going well. This is just going to be a slaughter. This is going to be a beautiful, beautiful. No one like. There's literally one way up. There is there is no way up aside from the staircase. Like there's nothing's happening. Though the game is going to deploy. I'm going to deploy my infantry onto the low ground to deal with the problem of archers. Because there are a fair few uh, that possibly the game is just going to annoyingly deploy nothing but archers. Uh, but my infantry can very easily handle all of that. And all ashore. And now literally push them into the sea. Oh, yeah. You can literally push them into the sea. Oh, it's barbarians. But barbarians are going to struggle to get past uh, that many spears. Especially with arch spot. So in come the barbarians. Claire, back to you. Yeah, shout out to Armchair Civilian who gave us five pounds and says, Welcome back from your test escape, Claire. Here's a couple of quid for your bus fare when you run away for real. <laughs> Look, Boo. the thing is, I did try to run away, mm -hmm. but I had to come back. Because Tabby. there was so much Crusader Kings 2 left to edit. That I, I thought you were about to say happened. because Tabby. Well, yes, obviously. Obviously because Tabby. But like... You do know I, I was always planning to come back for Tabby. Yeah. But you also need to know what happens next with Connor. Because yeah, I'm, I'm going to be... Okay, let's let's have... Not really spoilery, but let's just give a hint. Oh, my God. The, the, the situation with Connor's going to get worse before it gets better. Okay, let's just say that. Yes. <laughs> yes, because you made all the wrong choices, John. I made all the good choices. I made the fun choices. Connor is... um. Connor, Connor's rate's gonna get worse before it gets better. Let's, let's just say that. Mm -hmm. Let, let's just say that the, it's got some interesting places to go, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Here we go. Oh, in come the, the shield lads. Oh dear. Oh dear. Are you trying to actually, you know, go basically up step against prepared spear lads? I don't think that's gonna work. I think my veterans are gonna tear you apart. <laughs> Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Just try to attack the castle, you stupid bastards. <laughs> also, I just love how visceral it is. Like, the, the bright red blood that just kind of sloshes around like crazy. Oh, four barbarians. Four barbarians as the final. That's going to be... All right, let's see if four barbarians can pierce the line. Or if spearmen prepared on the high ground is good enough that it will not. I mean, we've already done a little bit of damage to them. And also, oh yeah, you really need to watch the swords. Oh, the swords almost work like a health bar. Like, the sword, when it's clean, they're at full health, and then it kind of gets blood further and further up it. And yeah, as it turns out, they have no chance against this. So we're okay for the time being. And that's enough money to actually veteran my archer. And I think a veteran archer is a very, very good idea. And also start moving fillers towards veterancy. I'm kind of rushing veterancy as my priority. I think that's a good thing to try and rush towards. Together with a fifth person... Who's going to be there for, uh, basically, so I've got backup. Because if people start dying, we need to replace them. And people are going to start dying sooner or later. Let's let's be very clear about that. That's that's going to happen. So, uh, right now we've got, yeah, three out of four veterans. No special abilities. But, let's go and get... Actually, this island looks manageable. This island looks pretty easy to hold. Uh, let's just go back here before it becomes unavailable. Or I could try and rush for an item. I mean, at this point, now I've got a full team. Rushing for an item probably wouldn't be the stupidest thing in the world. Screw it. Let's actually go down here to Ink Keith. And then we'll, we'll, we'll rush to the item. And then we'll get the fifth person afterwards. Claire, for you. Yeah, shout out to uh, Jack, who uh, gave us five Australian dollars. Good dollars. And says, John and Claire, it's my first time making a stream. I'm a massive ramper and it's hours past my bedtime. I've been a he's, a, he's a massive what, sorry? Ramper. Grandpa? Grandpa. As in, oh, he's a grandfather. 
No, as in it's late in a street. Oh, yeah, John. I don't know. You just said I'm a massive grandpa. How am I supposed to interpret that? Other than, well, he's a grandfather, all right. Well, like, yeah, but, like, it's this... a clause in a sentence about it being late at night, so it's related. Ooh. Anyway, never mind. He says, I've been a huge fan since Fallout 3 kill every day. Oh, that's a long time ago now. That's Good a times. Long time ago, yes. Good times. Okay, what are we going to try and block up here? Mm -hmm. Probably the best thing to try and block up is around here and you guys around over here. And just try and basically block that up if you can. Yeah, just block that up over there. Block up both of them. Get the archers over to here. Get them back up ready to go. It's just too far There's a barbaric. relationship tab? Huh? Marius says John needs to check the relationship tab. Uh, the relationship, relationship tab? The relationship tab will be checked very soon. Uh, okay, the thing about Crusader Kings 2 is, because Claire went on holiday, we had to get a little bit further ahead on Crusader Kings 2 than I normally would do. Which is why, like, the things John got wrong is further behind than usual, for the simple reason that, like, we had to be slightly further ahead than I'd normally like to be, purely for the sake of, like, while Claire was away, like, I, I literally don't have the time or the manpower to, like, do all the editing and all the recording that we normally do. So therefore, we ended up slightly further behind than usual. So I am well aware of the relationship tab. It will show up very soon. Yeah, uh, also what happened was John couldn't manage to start playing the game. Yeah, that, that was, was also thing a thing. That yeah, happened. That was yeah. also a thing that happened, yes. <laughs> so there you go. And oh, blimey, deploy those guys. Ouch. Okay, the barbarians pierced my line there. But we're still mostly alive. We're all right for the time being. And where are you coming in? You guys are going to be... Let's just move you here, here, here. I think we can just basically surround all of you guys immediately. And then... Oh, is that technically... I think that is technically a wall. Oh, blimey. Get in there. Get in there and finish the wall. Oh, no, no, whoa, 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 whoa. Boat just totally snuck up behind me there. Stop them. Stop them before they burn a house down. Okay, what else have we got coming in? Oh, we got... Okay, 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 okay. Get the... Get the good guys over here. Get you over here. Get more over here. We should be able to block this off. Assuming there's no, there's no more. But I totally got taken by surprise over there. These are my, my veterans there can take out the barbarian. And once the barbarian's down, yeah, at that point, they're not getting through. Uh, you, you shall officially not pass. Ooh, I was a little bit concerned there for a second. Especially as this place is only worth five coins. Wouldn't want to run into trouble. But yeah, barbarians are now being routinely deployed. Give everything to Phyllis. We can veteran him at 12. But in the meantime, we can also get ourselves a new item, which is marvellous. Over. It's a long game. Uh, no, need to rest up first. Claire. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Jacob, who gave us 45 uh, that's Danish krona. Sorry. And says, glad to have Claire back. Someone who uh, can properly pronounce the letter J. Also, there I... may have been slight mispronunciation of regulars last week. I'm going to be honest. Uh-huh. Quite a bit, potentially. I mean, look, I know it's probably not going to be right every single time, but generally if I see the, like, krona, if I see the crowns of any, you know, of the... the... You mean just like a K showing up? Yeah, yeah. so like D double K, which is Danish krona, and then there's like Swedish krona and a couple of other countries use them. Mm -hmm. Generally, if I see a J, then I go, yeah, if it's one of those currencies. And it's probably wrong in some cases, but I think it's a decent like a rule of thumb anyway. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Jacob also says, um, also I've started playing Crusader Kings 2 as Denmark. Love the game. It's a good game. It's a really it's damn a good game. game. You know, they've been talking about a sequel recently. There's uh, just not like, not in terms of like solid plans, just in terms of like literally just mentioning, hey, we, we acknowledge that there's only so much you can add before there's like, you know, you've literally run out of stuff that you're capable of adding. So at some point you just have to say, you know what, we have to do a sequel because what else are you going to, you know, uh, you, you know, it, it just becomes too full for you to not do that. Uh, let's get the spears up. There's literally, yeah, where they're landing, that's, that's not a way up. I'm just going to put you guys here just in case. I think the only way up from down here is up this, this little area. So the pikes are ready to give them a damn good poking. Yeah, those barbarians. Oh, what? Wow, okay. Barbarians are being routinely deployed now. But the advantage I've got is it's, it's a good island for it. Get the archers right up on the high ground. 
get the infantry behind. Make sure nothing else is sneaking around the back at the same time, because I got a little bit caught off guard last time. Yeah, they can't go anywhere but up here. Right, and two sets of pikes with veterans at the front. They can, yeah, they can handle barbarians, that's fine. And in comes... That bunch of... That's a huge pile of archers, isn't it? Yeah, that's a huge old pile of archers. Deploy the archers down to the front. The archers can take care of all of this. Uh, are my archers actually firing? My archers are also firing back. And go, 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 go. Wipe them out, wipe them out, wipe them out, wipe them out, wipe them out. And get over here, wipe out that one that's kind of got away. Boom. Uh, you get back up to the high ground and... Oh, dear. Okay. Um, 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 um. How many ways up are there from where you are? You guys go and... Actually, no, the veterans. The veterans get over here. You guys help out the vets. You guys guard this. That's just one barbarian. That should be hopefully manageable. And... Oh, no, this... Okay, just it, it sacrifice. No, don't... Don't go down there and fight. Why are you going down there to fight? Why? I didn't tell you to do that. Wait, is that the commander? Is that the commander stuck down there? Wait, hang on. Okay. Uh, careful. Okay, I think the commander's got stuck down there. Which is not... Which is not good, actually. I think the commander's now stuck out of position. Yeah, the commander totally got stuck out of position. That was really dangerous there for a second. Okay, now get the... Oh, cock. Oh, cock. Oh, cock. Oh, cock. Cock, 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 just FYI, you know, make it totally different from all the other items I'm ever given. <laughs> <laughs> I do kind of forget about the Warhammer. Claire! Yeah, shout out to uh, Nicopol who uh, gave us five Australian dollars uh, earlier and said, all oh, caps, Pike. I can't remember if I actually read out that one, so I'm very sorry. Uh, just saying it again, Pikes, mm -hmm. which we did go for, so hey, that's quite good. Mm -hmm. uh, Urban Cohort gave us $2 and says, uh, here's more for being schooled on English by a Frenchie. <laughs> hey, look, I'm, I'm like... Claire understands Claire understands English better than I understand English, all right. Claire I have a degree in English, so, you uh -huh. know. I am a degree in English. <laughs> so do mm -hmm. <laughs> So do <dope. laughs> I'm at I usually have training to teach English as a foreign language to people, so, you know. Luckily, I, I don't need to be taught English as a foreign language, so I'm good. Ah. Yeah, because who would want to teach you? You sound like you'd be super annoying. Okay, the thing is, I'm not going to give the Warhammer to Phyllis, because the Warhammer is, like, it's it's good for, like, when there's... It's more good to give to infantry. I'm going to wait till I run into more my next... More good, eh? Yeah, more good. I'm going to wait for my next infantryman shop and I'll give it to him because it's it's better given to, like, a highly mobile unit, mm -hmm. I think. So, speaking of which, we're going to move up here and this person up here is going to be infantry number two. So, we're going up to the island of Lump, which is marvellous. <laughs> Over to the island of Lump we go. Uh, this house down on the bottom may have to be sacrificed. I'll save it if I can, but it's got to the point where we do have to be aware that sacrificing on occasion is a good idea. What do we have here? If they happen to come around this side of the island, really easy to block up. This half of the island, much more tricky because of that house. So, we'll see. We'll, uh, we'll flip and see. Also, I like how, um, if you click on someone, the rain and the lightning also goes into slow motion, which I think is really pretty. Yeah. I like the slow motion rain and lightning. Okay, let's see what we've got coming in. Ah, speak of the devil. This is actually pretty easy to take care of. So, deploy my veterans over to here. They should be able to hold off there, like, quite easily with archers shooting them in the back. So that's not a problem at all. And I know it looks like these guys can deflect. As soon as they start engaging, arrows do have an effect on shield guys once they're busy facing something else. Because at that point, you can shoot them in the back and it will actually have an impact. Um, the game calculates, like, more than you'd think. It, it's more in-depth than it looks. Because you look at it and you think it looks really kind of, you know, uh, casual and whatever. But actually, there's, there's a surprising amount of depth here. And go, 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 go. And... Uh, also, I forgot to actually bother checking, like, you know, who was who was actually who. Uh, so I actually only have one set of pikes here. So I accidentally forgot, oh yeah, one of the guys is going to be the new guys. So I kind of forgot that there was going to be, like, you know, one guy here who was uh, not going to be my traditional veteran. So I've only got one unit of pikes right now. Keep an eye on the boats. 
keep a close eye on the boat. Move you over to here. Move you over to here just on the off chance. But these archers are very unlikely to do anything. And they're ashore. Right. Get over here. Chase them off. 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 And then probably I want my infantry, if I can, to have a moment off. Because uh, my infantry is... My infantry is looking... Oh, yeah. My infantry could do with a break. I'm going to just recover them over here. Because uh, look at them, they're very weak right now. So I think we should be able to handle this. We should be able to handle this. Oh, hang on, there's... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. No, 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 there's there's problems. Okay, get, no, no, blue. Blue, 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 blue. Get over here, get over here and take out these guys. Um, These are basic... Oh, cock, 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 cock. Right, okay, this is, this is going a bit badly. Right, prepare, prepare. You guys, blue might be in a bit of trouble here. Blue might be in a little bit of trouble. Get over there, fit, help finish them off, please. Okay, um, I could really do with... Okay, hang on. That is... That's archers. Oh, it's just archers everywhere. That's no good. I need my infantry back. I need... Okay, you guys keep them busy. You guys keep them busy. You guys fall back for the time being. And get down over there, finish them off. Good, I've got my infantry back. Nick of time. Get over there, finish them off. That is more flipping archers coming in. And finish them off. Go, 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 go. Is anyone else left? No, we're okay for the time being. You get back over to here. How bad are you, Nate? You're okay. Get back over here. More coming in. That's archers on every side. Get over there and just basically go and intercept them. I think you've got the strength for it. Get down over there, chase them off. And, excuse me. Please actually go and, like, kill the... Oh, we lost that bloody house. Yeah, unfortunately, units don't auto-pursue, so we just lost that house at the last second, which is a shame. But the biggest house, which is the three... We lost two coins there. We still got six out of that battle. Mm -hmm. Not so bad. Not so bad at all. And I'm going to give all of those to Neil, because that's actually enough to actually um, upgrade and specialise Neil immediately, which is good. So move straight on to the next turn. And yeah, I'm not going to send Phyllis out by himself. Uh, so Neil can be immediately converted into infantry. And awarded a giant warhammer, which is a very powerful thing indeed. It's very, very cool. Claire, to you. Uh, yeah, shout out to uh, David, who gave us $22.99 Australian dollars. Good dollars. And says, hi, John and Claire. I've been battling PTSD and the sleepless nights would be hell without you guys. I don't want you to feel sorry for me. I just wanted to let you guys know how much you lovely people do. Oh, well, that's down sand regardless. So I'm very sorry about that. Yes, thank you uh, for, saying, for saying that. We're always glad we can help in any small yes, way. Yes, whatever little way we can. Uh, also, shout out to Zachary, who gave us $2 and says, uh, John, mm -hmm. stop singing. Also, this is my first stream. <laughs> so... <laughs> okay, fine. Yeah. Um, mixed messages here from uh, Gab, who gave us $2 and says, more French songs, John. Mm -hmm. So, uh, b b between the, uh, you know... <laughs> Stop singing it and more singing. Uh, I, 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 I approve of this. Stupider I'm With gave us $5 and says more French versions of 80s and 90s cartoons, <laughs> so please. <laughs> oh dear. Right, hang on. What have we got over there? We got we got you there. We got... Okay, what do we want to do? Actually, that's a, that's a really tiny one. Screw it. I'm just going to deploy... I'm just going to deploy you guys over to here and I'm actually going to deploy you onto the low ground over to here we should have enough time to get drawn up they've got to be planning to go over to these houses yeah so and then you over here just basically get right over here get them in the sea nice and then anything else good yeah everything else is fine good okay that's a decent enough starting point you guys just go and wait for those archers that's more archers Back off, back off, back off. Spearmen do not do well one-on-one -on -one against archers. Simply deploy my own archers to provide a little bit of counter fire just to keep them busy. These guys will hit the shore first. So, short version is we just basically get over there, kill them as quick as you like, and then get over here and hit the other guys. And don't lose the house. That's a big, important house. Uh, just got the next time there. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having a second infantry. I'm going to be honest. A second infantry wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Uh, you guys just get round over here, just running round, getting some attention. No more bus coming in. This is manageable for the time being. Claire, back to you. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to uh, shout out to F4, 
Mm-hmm. Gave us $5. <laughs> uh, and says, any thoughts on the new Steam service that is trying to compete with Twitch, either in general or for your channel? I don't know much about it, to be honest. I haven't really given it much of a look say. Yeah, we've uh, been quite busy. Well, you've been quite busy when I was away. Yeah, you've been quite busy doing nothing. Swanning about doing nothing, you monster. Okay, well, that's not true. Uh-huh. Uh, that, okay, you've been very busy. That is actually true, yeah. I've been very busy. And then I had, like, a day between flying back home and, like, starting work again. And A whole it was helpful, extra day off. But it was not enough because I've not been, like, sleeping super well yet. <laughs> so, anyway, year for bank holiday... Yeah, which I also have to leg I'm legally obliged to give her, which is just quite frankly ridiculous. Uh-huh. And in they come. Pikes, 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 pikes. And okay, this is okay. You get over there. You are gonna have to. We might just have to abandon that house. Actually, no. Hang on. There's yeah. There's literally no way for them to get. Okay, they have to go. Okay, one of you. Needs to go over to here. One of you needs to get over to... Do I need to... No, I'm going to... Just, I'm just going to hope they don't... Actually, no, come down over here. Come over here. And... Okay. One of them has come over there. Go over there and intercept them if you can. Why would you not be facing the way? Why would you not be facing the right way, you stupid bastards? And now... Okay. Right, fine. Back off, back off. Don't sacrifice... Oh! There's a, there was a way up there. I forgot about the way up there. Right, okay. Go. Go. Deploy. Shoot. Just just basically wipe them out. Swarm them. Don't let another house go down. Bloody hell. Victory. Scruffy victory. Uh, I forgot he was going to go up this way. Yeah, I was kind of hoping I'd catch them coming in, but... We only lost one house. We still got three. We still got three, and Neil needs more upgrading. Also, I forgot the Warhammer existed, Claire. Just FYI. Just FYI. I forgot the Warhammer exists. Sorry, I'm just trying to moderate the chat and I've got a lot of people asking me for Banhammer as well as, uh, you know, um, mm -hmm. Warhammer and I get a bit confused. Um, Excellent. Now this looks more manageable. This looks like my sort of island right here. This is a good island. This is definitely an island for double pikes. Yeah, Donaghy and Phyllis can both be deployed here. This looks like this will work to me. Right, Claire, this one should be more manageable, especially as we've got ourselves... Yeah, if we just have one unit over here and one unit over to here and then deploy my archers into, say, this sort of a position, that should be, yeah, and then just have my infantry just ready to float. Because, yeah, the infantry have got themselves... Oh, no, I didn't bring Nate. Sorry, I should have brought Nate so I could test out his Warhammer. Uh, no matter. I've got the... I've got the good one. Oh, of course, you're going to be these bastards right now, obviously. Now it's going to be nothing but archers when I've got a good defensive island. Boo! Actually, you know what? You are so screwed. You're so 100% screwed. I can just basically chase you all into the sea. So this is, this is not going to work out for you at all. And wait, 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 wait. And chase, 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 murder, 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 murder. And now it's... Where are you even trying to land? Right, interesting. Uh, go over here. Just basically let my archers fire at their archers. And go. Already looking good there. Back over here. We can chase... Actually, you know what? I'm going to go over here so I can chase off these guys. And then immediately go into the next. We should be fine. These archers have done a terrible job. Whatever. And then, excuse me, chase off these guys because they're actually taking out my pikemen right now. So work on them. Get back down. This is getting a little bit messy. Okay, so this is one of those islands where the game is going to spawn nothing but archers. Which I suppose is a response to the fact that if they didn't do that, this island would be quite easy. On account of the fact that, yeah, it, it's so defensible. So I guess I can't blame the game for this. Uh, Claire, to you while I mop up. Sorry, just let me just... Yeah. You're banned. You can't use that word. Excellent. <laughs> the sound of moderators moderating. Marvellous. Uh, right. Okay. We got ourselves uh. that over there. You to over here. You to up here. And now it's the big shield last. So they shouldn't really be able to make much in the way of progress here. This should be fine. And just... No, guys. Infantry. Stay back, lads. Stay back. Just, just let the spears do the work. This is their job. Now in comes 
It's quite a lot of archers for not that many infantry, but uh, it's probably enough. I really hope this is enough. Actually, with archer support, it should be. This isn't even the final wave. If the final wave is nothing but archers, I'm going to start getting a little bit on the concern side. Murder, 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 murder. Oh, dear. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh-oh. 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 Flee, flee, flee. Get in a boat. Go oh, no! I was starting to get a little bit concerned about that. And it is nothing but cocking. Okay, we just need to... Keep these guys back. Keep these guys back because the barbarians need to be taken care of. If the barbarians can be held, then I can just charge down the hill and finish off the rest of it. But the archers are starting to do worrying work. Worrying work. Barbarians, barbarians, barbarians. We're ready to stab the barbarians. Stab the barbarians. No. Okay, back off, back off, back off. Leave it to the other guys. Leave it to the other guys. Barbarians, 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 barbarians. Oh, no. Claire. Claire, we're looking at a wipe. This is a total cocking wipe. Okay, um... Flee. Okay. Ever ah. Guys, just make, make a run for it. Go for this boat over here. Go, 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 go. No, don't go through them! Okay, we saved one of them. We saved... We saved one of them. Wait, he's not dead. He's not dead. Oh, apparently he's dead. Claire, didn't we save one of them? Did... Did, did we? Okay, Neil... It's kind of up to you. <laughs> Neil's, Neil's not looking impressed. Um, okay. So, I don't have There's any... There's a lot of respect for being paid, John. Yeah. In the chat. Just want you to know. Yeah. Yeah. Should have brought a... Um, Should have brought a second... Uh, Inventory. Infantry. Should have yeah. used your Warhammer, really. Uh, I didn't have it with me. That's what Neil's got. That's what Neil's got. So that's Nico Paul who gave us ten Australian dollars and said F. Is there any way I can make it to either of these two oh, islands for okay. reinforcements? Uh, sorry, Luke says, hmm? can you please tell John that infantry are not completely immune to arrows, even with raised shields? You should hide them behind terrain and ambush them in future. Okay, I know they're not because it's the same as like the skull people are, but they're very close to R when they're holding still. If they're on the move and on the run and like trying to pass narrow things, yes, they are they are very vulnerable. But like most of the time when they're holding still, they're pretty damn close to immune. <laughs> sorry. Um, sorry. Uh, Make a run down in this God. direction. Oh, uh, God. We've been a bit busy because John was busy, kind of almost dying. But um, yeah. shout out to Venus, who gave us two quid, and says, Dinner, don't blame stuff on me while I'm gone. She just came back. Uh -huh. uh, she just came back just after you died, uh, or just after, you know, most of you died. Uh huh. Uh, and asked what's been blamed on her yet. Probably <laughs> this. Okay. Um, this is fine. I've got a war hammer. <laughs> Well, if you remember using it, you got one. Well, no, now I've only got one unit to use, so it's going to be fine. Anyway, shout out to Evil John Clone 666 who gave us five dollars uh, and says, Hi, John, when when are you getting a new and better Claire? I think you were saying the current one was unreliable and you would quit out on your birthday. That's true, she would. <laughs> and, okay, here we go. Warhammer, Warhammer, and Warha Warhammer, Warhammer. Oh. There we go. Okay, now the problem is that did that did nothing. That did the barbarians. Oh just the barbarians. R.I.P. Neil. <laughs> Bloody Neil. I feel like that was Neil's fault, not mine. Sure. Let's blame Neil. It's good to have someone to blame. Anyway. Yeah, the um, game can be pretty brutal. The game can be very brutal. Though apparently there is an end point. It does say percentage complete. So that was apparently about halfway. That was about halfway, mm -hmm. give or take. Okay, so... Oh, uh, dear. <laughs> shout out to Dan, who gave us $20 and says, Have a Pims and GNT on me, John and Claire. I've Excellent. Been, I've been watching things kill everything New Vegas. Please play Subnautica. It comes up a lot. I'll definitely look at it at some point, rather. Yeah. That's certainly true. Well, once, one, now that you're redoing like the first few islands, mm -hmm. maybe we can catch up a little bit. Oh yeah, absolutely. You go questions. right ahead. Yeah, sorry, we've uh, we've been a little bit, um, we've gotten a little bit behind. But um, shout out to I've got a few questions that are about uh, Crusader Kings too. Yeah, go for so, it. So uh, 
So yeah, Varric gave us five million dollars. Good dollars. Uh, says, hi John and Claire, any chance we'll get a look at King's Connor relations tab before he dies? Do we really know how many courtiers he's been shagging? I can't remember. Uh, I do not actually know. I'm not sure, sorry. Uh, yeah, also, uh, shout out to Nicholas, who just gave us $100. Oh, Thank wow. You so Thank much. you very, very much indeed. Uh, he said, hey, from Arizona, great to finally catch a live stream from you and Claire. Uh, Aww. thank you so much. Thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Lucy, who gave us $5, and says, I noticed some really weird stuff with province culture in some recent video. So, uh, so videos. with what? Province culture. Oh, is it, oh the, the culture of each, uh, yes, yeah. various provinces. Um, okay, sure. open that map mode next time you're recording? I will try and remember to do so. Uh, it's if... going to be a bit behind because John has... Actually, not that there. much. We're not, we're, we're close to caught up now. Yeah, um, there's something like, there's a few. Yeah. There's like three or four. We're, we're, cl we're, we're close to yeah. caught up at this point, so we're not, yeah. we're not so bad. I mean, normally we try to be a little bit... And also, the, there's, comments, there's also two. Stop playing. There's two. There's also two stages of me learning stuff, which is sometimes you see things while you're editing it, and you tell me about them, and then I you're know like about Positron. it. Yeah, like po like Positron. Damn you, Starscream. Um, and sometimes it's it's more, and sometimes it takes the comments to point something out. So it's like there's two phases in which I learn things. Uh -huh. Um. So sometimes I, I learn things because Claire points out some of it from the comments. So it's like it's like that. It's a bit like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Right, two Molfra and oh no, sorry, Penta. It's fine. No way to upgrade. So we've still just got two, but we've got an early item which isn't bad. So if that's a good item, that'd be nice. I, I do prefer the passive items though, because then I don't have to remember to yeah. use them. <laughs> yeah. The, yeah. Pa the passive items like the Ring of Command are much much more my cup of tea. <laughs> um, anyway, shout out to Mattis, who gave us $21 and says, Hi, John and Claire, I love your work. Is there a video in which John talks, brackets, rants, about Total War Rome 2 and why there are no videos of it on the channel? I don't believe so. I'm not sure there's ever been such a video. I think you might have dreamt it. No, he's asking whether there is a video where you talk about that. Um, I do not believe so, no. Because you've never played it on the channel. And that's presumably true. Presumably that's it. Also, you know, uh, another question of why you've not played it on the channel. Oh, uh, no, no, no particular reason. Right? It wasn't that long ago we kind of only just discovered that, like, Classic Total War did really well on the channel and people really liked it and it was a good thing for a series. And yeah, since then, there's, there was a lot of Rome Total War and a lot of Medieval 2 and, you know, I try and catch the new releases when they come out as well. It's, like, purely the case that, like, you know, there has been pretty much ongoing either Total War or a Paradox Grand Strategy ever since we kind of figured out that was actually quite a good niche for us. I I, I don't think there's like any anything weird or conspiracy-ish here. I think it's purely just, you know, we just haven't got round to it yet. You know, we also haven't done Shogun 2, we also haven't done Attila, we also haven't done Napoleon, we haven't done Empire 1. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you know, it's just a... Uh, because I remember the first time that you played Rome, you were... You were feeling very poorly. Yes. You were like... I need to do some work, but I can't. I'm I'm gonna play this because it, I love yeah. it and I'm comfortable playing. And, it. The, and the, that video didn't even do like ridiculous, stupid, spectacular well, which is interesting. Just it did better fine. Than you expected. It did fine, but it didn't exactly do like you know ridiculous or anything, uh, which which is what makes it so interesting. Yeah. That the actual series went on to have such kind of uh, such well, a good I mean, lifespan. I think with something like that, you just it's uh -oh. just. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Come on, finish them off, please. Finish them. Come on, Commander. Come on, Commander. Oh, you need to get out of there. You need to get out. You need to get. This burns down before it's. Okay, now now they're down to. Now they're down to nothing. Now. I'm just gonna. We're just gonna very quickly. We're just gonna quickly. It's fine. Don't worry. It's cool. Don't. Don't. Didn't see that. <laughs> didn't see that. It's okay. It's Island 2. I mean, this game actually should be played on hard mode, but it sometimes it's just like, if you just get a couple... Someone wanted to know uh, if... Um, someone wanted to know if... Uh, why you were playing on hard mode earlier, I think. Hard, like, it's way too easy on hard mode. I This is absolutely the difficulty the game feels right on. Like, mm. it feels weirdly easy on normal. Like, that's why. Or rather on E... On, is it normal? I think it's, not, I think it's called normal. 
Uh, it feels way too easy. Like, my first game was there, like, and just, like, I, I just got so far, it's like, the difficulty just totally plateaued. Like, even, th like, it's one of those games that, like, I think it feels like it should be routinely kicking your ass. Yeah. Like, that, that, it's just that sort of game. I feel like that's how it should be played. Someone's called it uh, Vikings FTL uh, in chat before, uh, earlier, and that feels right. I think there's an, there's an element more to, there's, there's the slight, uh, like, I think there's an element which is not quite as good, which is, in particular, it's the same thing that Into the Breach has, which is you can get screwed over by luck or bad luck a little bit more than you can in FTL. Now, absolutely, in FTL, bad luck can absolutely screw you over insofar as, like, say, pulsars knocking out particular systems or if you're, like, you know, if you've got a fire. I mean, you've been that... playing this for 10 minutes compared to how long you've been playing FTL. Yeah, exactly. So, like, it's possible because I feel very much... I have played FTL a lot more than you've played this and I still feel like luck plays a big part. That's because I'm just not as good at FTL as you are. Yeah. So. Yeah, there's there's definitely a big. I think there's there's there can very rarely be a luck screwing of an FTL. I think there's a lot more. Once you understand, there's a lot more skill, which is also what's good about Tharsis. Mm. Tharsis is very though people like the, I, a really stupid complaint to talk about it a lot was oh yeah you just get screwed over by random number generators and random dice rolls. No, it's about understanding probabilities. You bloody idiots. Um, but it's it's um if but like Tharsis is very fair. Mm. Tharsis the probabilities are very transparent. So, like, um, I, you know, I think that's in some ways like the ultimate yeah, strategy game. you take it into account. Yeah, exactly. Like, you understand exactly what's going on. You're not just being screwed over just because in the background a dice roll went against you. You literally can see the dice and you can know exactly what the probabilities are and you take risks based on that. And you can reduce that and mitigate that risk by having the right cover for your dice or by sending the right person in with the dice. Tharsis is amazing. We should have Tharsis. We should do a Tharsis live stream at some point. Mm, Tharsis yes. is bloody. Tharsis hard mode is great. Love Tharsis. Tharsis is anyway, brilliant. Um, um, shout out to I haven't finished my point yet. Oh, no, no, now you're doing it. Now you're doing it. Wait, what was my point? <laughs> I don't know. You said a Tharsis live stream. Yeah, but I got to Tharsis because I was talking about luck and then I was talking about well, because... Into the, yeah, Into the Breach and this have the problem of sometimes luck, especially in the really early game, can really screw you over. And it's just like, it's, sometimes it's hard to recover from. Like, if you just happen to get a bad roll of enemies on a bad island and a bad engagement, you're just done and that's it. Uh, and also, like, especially the fact that there's no guarantee of when you're going to run into items or people. Like, in this run, there's a person on Island 3 and an item on... Oh, well, it could be Island 3 or 4. I'm going to have, by the end of my fourth island, an extra person and an item, which is really good. But you're not guaranteed that. Like, and that can really be... That's a bit unfair, because it means some runs are just fundamentally easier and more difficult than others. Anyway, carry on. Yeah, sorry. I, uh, was, um... I wanted to acknowledge Yasir who gave us $20 because uh, he was the one that made the point of asking is this Viking FTL and I totally just, I remembered, you know, I remembered someone had brought it up but I completely forgot that it was a uh, super chat and then I mentioned it um, just completely. Uh, so yeah, sorry I saw your point by the uh, basically. But you got a really good long answer out of it. Yeah, shout out to Yasir uh, and he also says, yay Claire is back. Boo, Claire is back. That is not what you said when I actually came back. I missed you and so did Tabby. We were sad. Oh. We were sad and lonely. I missed you guys. Oh, good. Especially Tabby. Understandable. Well, because I couldn't, you know, DM Tabby on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, shout out to Callum, who gave us five pounds. Uh, and says, I just wish that the depth uh, of uh, Crusader Kings 2's diplomacy was in Stellaris. Yeah, I mean, I think we're having played big Crusader Kings 2. What really, what really stands out about Stellaris is sectors are so weak right now, which is like you just put stuff in sectors and you just leave it there forever, and that's just basically just like okay, I'm done with bothering to work on this now. So you know, me, me and that sector are done. You never worry about your sector governor. That's never a concern in the slightest. It's it's purely that um, I mean and, and that's the really weird thing about it when you think about it because like your sector governors, they have like by the end of the game your sector governors are directly controlling so many more systems and so much more strength than you. But like you don't need to like bother with like you know treating them nicely like they're vassals or anything. They they just basically they are you can yeah. you can you can tax them seventy five percent of everything they make. 
constantly, all the time, and they're just like, yeah, fine, whatever. There's there's no sign of any loyalty problems with them at all. Yeah, it's never a, you never have a second thought about putting stuff in a sector, really. Yeah, you, 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 it up, you never vassals. think about it. Whereas in the vast you think, you know yeah. what, I'm worried about someone getting too powerful or whatever. Uh, and that's just not a thing at Solaris. And that's why I think they really need, like, a lot of people talk about they need, oh, politics substitutes. No, I think they need to rework sectors. Sectors and sector governors being a more interesting diplomatic force you need to work with and also be careful of and keep loyal and potentially make allowances to who will agitate and say, hey, can't help but notice I actually can directly control more territory than you do right now. So wouldn't it be nice if you didn't tax me 75% your dicks? And also the fact that weirdly sector governors play by totally different rules to you. So you ever notice that like you have like core systems, like the number of systems you can directly control, but you can keep putting as many systems as you want into a single sector and sectors can all be controlled by one governor. So weirdly a sector governor has got like infinite core systems that he can control, but you don't. Mm. And that's weird. Whereas in Crusader Kings 2, your vast, everyone's playing by the same rules as apart from the Pope, but whatever. Uh, but everyone's basically playing by the same rules as you, which I think is a lot more fair. So, yeah, I think there's, there's there's a lot to be said there in that regard. I think there's a lot they could do to improve that. And I, I'm sure it's coming. But I like the look of the new planet rework. That certainly looks cool. And what do we have here? We've got, yeah, we've got, we've got time to get to both. But I'm going to prioritise rushing to person number... Uh, person number three, obviously. So now I've got myself... Oh, I forgot to actually upgrade that guy. Hang on, I exit the map. I can actually upgrade that guy. You're allowed to actually uh, redeploy him. So, yeah, infantry. Yeah, fine, obviously. What are you getting? Does he get a new uh, item? Uh, no, I haven't got the item yet. I'm going to get third person first, then the item. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Jared gave us five uh, dollars, sorry, and says, I left for lunch about an hour ago and just returned to see John abandon the second island. How many times has John died without me? Only the once, actually, I think. Unless you missed the one right at the beginning. Yeah, so basically, this is what happens in this game. Like, either you die right at the beginning, yeah. or you get quite far along. Exactly. You need but to yeah. kind of, if you can just kind of get to your first, like, say, your first four people and a couple of items, as a general, you're going to be all right. He's probably going to make a run for one of these houses, so I'm just going to kind of, yeah, now I can just box him in here. There we go. Nice and simple. And then one of them's going to try and get around the back here, just to pull you over there. This is quite manageable. Claire, this can be your time. Uh, yeah, shout out to Glyn, who gave us two pounds and wanted to know uh, our opinions on lemon and lime Jaffa cakes. Mm, I'm sure about this. Have you ever had them? I think I have once upon a time. I don't not, think I not have. Not thrilled, not thrilled. I don't think I have, because the thing is, in the I wouldn't recommend. In the supermarket, they live next to the regular Jaffa cakes. So yeah, so why would you? Every time yeah. I think about maybe trying them, I'm like, but I could just buy eat Jaffa, Jaffa cakes. cakes. Yeah, exactly. Now you Jaffa got cakes. it. Now you got it. Yeah, that's 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 basically that's my the way to think about it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. We would like to reiterate our uh, position on the many a true nerd live stream drinking game. Do it not is... drink every time John dies. It is not a good idea. In this game, it's not so bad to okay, be honest. Don't tell him that. If you don't know. You don't know how it's gonna go. Uh, well, yeah, but I'm extremely talented and skilled. Sure. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I've missed you. <laughs> Change my mind. I haven't done you at all. <laughs> go, go, go! Slot, 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 and murder victory. You see, because if you, because if you just get that third person early, it makes all the difference in the world. And this was also a ridiculously high coin island, which is very, very good indeed. So that is your upgraded, and you're halfway there. That is excellent right there. Uh, and now we can go and get the item as well. So we've got three people, two already on their next level. Obviously, he's going to pike because Archer always comes first. Always get pike. And infantry before archer. Archers are like nice to have. Honestly, I could see the advantage of not running archer full stop and actually running two pike, two infantry. I think I'd, if I'd have been running two pike, two infantry in that last island when I died the first, the first proper run, actually, I'd have done a lot better. Honestly, I, I, the archers, the archers contribute DPS, but how much are they really adding on that your pikes couldn't do already? 
I'm not sure it's that much. Like, you know, give your opinion down in the chat, but I think arguably Arch is the weakest unit. Like, they're hilariously good fun when they do their job well, but they're also the source of many a collapse. Let's head over and get the island. Mm-hmm. Whew. Claire, all yours. Yeah, a uh, shout out to Assassin Lupus who gave us ten dollars and says, John, just so you feel better about the singing, I wanted to know that I'm trying to save the song you sang for me in the House Flipper stream. Oh. And also, you know we love you, Claire. Yeah, no, wait, that's not me. <laughs> yeah, uh, by the way, shout out to Retro for the win in the chat who pointed out that when you listed all your good qualities, you forgot about Humble. Mm hmm, it's true. Mm -hmm. That's true, I am the humblest person you've ever met. Uh, uh, oh, there you go, there's someone in the chat asking if I'm not your sister. Uh -huh. uh, look, look, I, I never know if people are kidding or not about this because we sound so completely different from one another, but um, mm -hmm. but maybe just in a Crusader Kings 2 kind of a way. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, come on. Alright, get you over there, get you over there. You guys just be ready to start floating. That should be pretty easy to take out these guys. These, these, although these are basic pikemen, these are also basic soldiers coming in. Dead, 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 dead. Nice, simple, good. Right, we got this under control. Claire, back to you. <laughs> yeah, shout out to uh, Hingle Mac Kringleberry. Oh, good name. Mac Kringleberry. Excellent name. Yeah, 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 excellent name. That's why I said the whole thing. No, normally, I don't. I don't always say people's surnames because, you know, that's more for me to mispronounce. Excellent. Uh, but anyway, they gave us uh, $4.99 and says, Question for John. I need to pick a Roman province. I need to pick a Ro Roman province. Uh-huh. Words are hard. Yes. Uh, around the first century for a project in my ancient Rome class, what would you choose? Bithynia. Okay. Bithynia. Uh, there's some really hilarious letters between Cicero and I think it was his brother. Um, about Bithynia, <laughs> and like Rome, Romans clearly thought Bithynia was the sexiest, most exciting place in the world, and like, uh, and, like it actually wasn't. It was really, it was really boring. Oh, that's broken. They've broken. They've broken. Look at that. Well, that's fine. Get in there. We can finish them off. Ooh, that took some damage though. Like, there's some hilarious letters, like backwards and forwards. Like, I would really appreciate it if you were to send me 17 tigers, a rhinoceros, a unicorn, and one of these giant scorpions made out of gold that I've read about. There's none of that in Bithynia. All right, it's just rocks, rocks, and more rocks. You want me to send you some sand? I'll send you some cocking sand. There are no tigers. Because this guy just, just, just desperately wants to put a gladiatorial show and, and thinks, you know, Bithynia is going to be the, the, the dream ticket for all the exotic animals no one's even heard of before. And it's just like the letter box is like, there is nothing here. Come and see for yourself if you want. <laughs> it's the most boring place in the world. Oh, I, I love that Thomas in the chat says, wow, John was so flipping prepared for that question. Bithynia! 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 It's, it's pronounced people... Bithynia! <laughs> It's like when people ask you your favourite uh, Roman emperor or something. Claudius! I know, he's so boring, we love him! He's so good. <laughs> Best Claudius. Uh, I have missed you. Uh-huh. I've missed you too. Midstream hug. Oh. Midstream hug. Midstream hug. Oh. Hug. You're narrating the hug for the chat, it's yes. weird. <laughs> Now let go of my hand. No. You have to let Claire. Claire, I can't. I, don't I wanna. I can't play one-handed. This isn't one of the Sakura games. Anyway, let's move. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Right. Anyway, let's I rush. I thought that my joke about Crusader Kings Two was a bit much. What was your joke about? Oh, <laughs> that was that was even a joke. That's a, that's an accurate <laughs> statement. About Crusader Kings Two. Yeah, pretty much. <sighs> All right, what have we got here? This is this could be a big, big coin island. I think that's I think that's a seven coin <laughs> island if we can save it all, which would be marvelous if we could. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, mix Mr. Steve in the chat, who's the person that first said, "Isn't Claire his sister?" Says, "I don't usually make that noise when I hug my sister." Uh huh. <sighs> Depends and on the sister, really, doesn't it? John. <laughs> anyway, mm -hmm. yes, 
Janitor Urban Cohort, who gave us $6.66 and says, John has cooties now. Mm hmm. It's Even. true. It's very true. Uh huh. Uh, shout out to uh, Gab, who gave us $2 and says, ah, midstream hugs. Mm hmm. Um, if you have a loved one with you today, I want you to take a step, just take a step away from the stream for a second to go and give them a midstream hug. Oh, that's very sweet. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to Venus who gave us two pounds and ten Unless you're Venus, in which case, don't. Don't worry, Venus. I like Venus. Venus is excluded from this instruction. Venus may not hug her loved ones. <gasps> you're so mean. <laughs> Going to, I'm going to say you're so mean you can't pet Tabby again today. I, you, you, you tried to stop me. Try to stop me petting Tabby. I can literally just close the door to my office. I can just open the door. I'll, 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 I'll open the door for I have hands! <laughs> Aha! Didn't see that twist coming. Anyway, shout out to Venus who uh, gave us two pounds and says any chance of Claire versus John videos in future? Uh, we had a, uh, well, I, I did mention something to you the other day. Uh-huh, yeah. That's coming up in, uh, that's coming up at some point, rather. It's a bit late to move these guys now. Actually, they're, where are you going? Oh, no, there's, there's a way up, 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 there's a way up. They're just going the way up. Claire, they're just doing the thing where they're just walking straight around me. Right, go, 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 kill them all. Right, okay, good. Luckily, that was the final way. <laughs> I'd forgotten there was a path there. <laughs> I just drawn out the line here and totally forgot things. Like, oh, that looks like a big stuff line. Maybe we just walk around that. Uh, also, I totally forgot I could actually have upgraded Shelley. I forgot he was actually ready to be upgraded. And Harold is almost ready for veterancy as well, which is pretty good. So that's going pretty well. And that will actually unlock person number four. So we're actually in pretty good shape right now. Claire. Oh, John. Yes. You've made everybody in the chat that doesn't live in the same, like, town as their partner really sad. Oh, <laughs> Okay, if you can't hug your person, text your person or something. Or whatever you kids do today, WhatsApp your person. Create an I love you WhatsApp group and invite your person. Well, I don't know how WhatsApp works. How do you do, fellow kids? <laughs> I literally have never used WhatsApp. I don't know. John, I don't think WhatsApp is a young person thing. Like, me and Jen and Rachel. Oh, it. shit. Are all the kids, do all the kids, like, communicate with Grinder now? Don't know, John. Uh-huh. Well, just, just, okay, well, let's we'll just both download Grinder on our phone, then we can grind each other. And then that'll be This fun. is not how that works. I'm, pretty, I'm at least 20% confident that's how that works. Yeah, sure. I'm going to go for just a second infantry. I'm actually going to go for my... Aww. Shout out to James, who gave us twelve, uh, $13 and says a dollar for every year Claudius was emperor. Yay! Thank you. It's good. That's good. I like that. Oh, shout out to the king in green who gave us two dollars and says I'm crying laughing. Oh, goodness me. This is a weird island. There's literally just this one weird bit out in the middle of nowhere. It would be a great spot for archers, except I literally just decided I couldn't be bothered with archers. Oh, well. Still, there's, um, yeah, there's the, the ways up Snapchat here. Snapchat is the one you were thinking of, John. Is that what I'm thinking? I thought Snapchat was, like, on, on bad times. Didn't one of the women whose surname is Jenna at one point say she didn't like Snapchat anymore? That was a big deal for some reason. I'm at least moderately confident what I've just said is true. Like, one of the Jenna women. You know, Ka Ka Chris, Chris and Kendall. Well, I and think, Kylie. I think. Chris, Kendall and How Kylie. on earth do you know that? I'm on the internet. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, Shout out to Lucy who gave us $5 and says, Stop grinding each other on screen. Oh my fucking god. Right, I'm just going to heal up these guys. These guys have already taken a little bit of damage there. We're alright. We, with, with three people, we'll be okay for the time being. Uh, sh <laughs> Shout out to uh, Kitty Spider 2 who gave us $5 and says, I've been watching your videos for a little while, but I think this is your first stream I've managed to catch. Love you guys. Uh, yeah, I bet you weren't expecting that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know which way they're going. I mean, I assume they can go this way, but if they come over here, what is the most logical way for... I think they'll come this way. Screw it. I hope they do. Right, and we've got that guy up to full health. And... Yeah, they didn't. Only one of them went through the door. Good. I had the pikes in the right position then. The pikes are in good shape. 
Uh, and then we've got... Ah, oh, we've got archers appearing. Good. Deploy infantry. We do actually have double infantry. Oh, yeah. This is where double infantry starts becoming useful right here. So screw your stupid archers. I've got double infantry. Oh, you're not even going over there. You're coming around over here. Fine. Uh, cut through. Round over there. Catch all of that. And just basically block them. Like... Ooh. Okay, well, that, I was literally about to say, as you can see, when they're drawn up, they're, they're pretty resistant. Well, we, they took one casualty there, but actually, like, for the most part, now they're doing pretty well. Now they can just basically deal with those guys. When they are actually drawn up, they do very, very well indeed. Uh, let's round over here. Clear you guys off. Clear these guys off. There's more coming over there. You guys got coming over. Okay, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of guys going on. Right here. <laughs> Dear oh flipping dead. Excuse me, stop saying fight that house. Thank you. Right, what have we got coming in here? We got ourselves... Actually, if you're coming in right there, we can just basically put the spears right in right there and we'll be okay. Is that literally the last... I think that might be it. And if that's it, that means these spears can do wonderful, sexy, pointy work. Right into the spear line, you stupid bastard. Yeah, give him a poke. Job done. Yes, Claire, what's so darn funny? Uh, you Share it with the class, please. You remember uh, Delicles told us that uh, her mother is now into games in your videos. Yeah. Because of you. Right? Great. Good stuff. Uh, Delicles says, please don't make me try to explain what Grinder is to my mother, John. Uh-huh. But a man <laughs> loves a man very much. Um, right. Okay. Veteran that infantry. There we go. Uh, uh, oh, and YouTube told Thomas that he should take a break. Oh, did it? How did it do that? I've never seen that message, which is odd because you thought I'd have seen it. If that was I don't a... know. I don't know. Maybe it's like a... Maybe it's not in every territory. Who knows? Interesting. Well, let's rush down south to see if we can mop up some items down here. We need Ooh. to go to Hump Island, then Bump Island. Woohoo! Good places to be. Uh, right, deploy the men there. We're up to four, and we're still pretty early on the game, so this should be manageable. The game's only just started spawning in archers, and I've actually got double infantry, including a veteran. So we should be all right at this point. Uh, deploy, yeah, deploy the basic lads over, <laughs> over to here. Keep an eye on them. Should be manageable. In fact, actually, there's there's more coming in than that. Just get everyone over there. Should be fine. But yeah, you can see like when they're prepared, for the most part, arrows just basically just bounce off. Right, go over here, go over here. Just get in over there, slaughter them dead. Lovely. So this is this is a fairly decent starting point, all things considered. Get the pikes into position over here and just basically start surrounding them. Yeah, this is fine. Although actually I might just have do I want... They'll probably start immediately. I'm not sure which way they'll actually run. Are they going to... Which half are they going to... No, they are going to go straight into the pikes. I was hoping they might do that. And as a result, yeah, those guys just totally collapse. So we're under control here. We're under control. Everything's... Claire, to you. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Nightshade Anarchy, who uh, gave us five dollars. Uh, and says, John, we need the return of Space Room when the next big update for Stellaris is released. I was I, I was vaguely thinking the Snifflets of Snorf might actually be allowed to return and actually have a proper run through. I quite liked the Snifflets of Snorf. Oh, yeah. So, we'll, we'll see. We'll see who I decide to go for for the next run proper. Uh, you guys could probably do with a bit of healing. I'm just going to heal up these guys nice and quick. I think we've got time. Especially as it's just, uh, yeah, it's just our art just coming in right now. So we're okay for the time being. Let's just, as you say, hide them behind a bit of scenery just for the minute. Final wave incoming. Should be healed up before the archers actually make it onto land there. In they come. You guys just get on that. Oh, hello. Uh, well, don't, don't let them just, like, you know, be completely unopposed here. Get up there. Fight, 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 fight. Fight, 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 lovely. And then we've got ourselves... Oh, hello. Okay, you guys have just got back just the nick of time. You guys get over here. You guys get over here. It always starts to get a little bit micro managey, isn't it? Right. Uh, back off one space, actually. And now just basically run them into the sea. Thank you. Job done. Yeah, that was manageable. When you get up to four early, you're okay. And this now, we should be able to get a couple of islands in a row. And actually, that was a big island right there. That was a... What's that? A seven? Um... No, even more. That's a flipping eight island. That's amazing because that is Taya straight up to being, uh, yeah, straight up to being specialised. And Aldrich, who's my first uh, spearman, almost there as well. 
So I'm gonna do that. I'm basically I'm just gonna try and at this point I'm gonna try and skip archers and I'm just gonna basically make Taya pike and we're going for two pike, two infantry. Nice. I think that's the way to go. Uh, and whilst you're doing that, shout out to Travis, who gave us $20 and said, I'm getting married on October 13th. Congratulations, Travis. Congratulations. Uh, and he says, so thank you so much, John, for providing me with some much needed de-stressing laughter on a daily basis. Your videos are a big reason I'm surviving the wedding planning process. <laughs> oh, that does, I mean, you know. I hope oh, you are getting oh, married sorry. to somebody lovely, the sort of person who would never abandon you on your birthday. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, I hope you have a lovely, uh, I hope you have a lovely day, even though it's really stressful to prepare for. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to Retro for the win, who gave us five pounds, uh, and says I came for the game and staying for the community. Here's some Oh, murder. Well, thank you very, very much indeed for that. Did you just reply to a lovely heartwarming comment about how nice our community is with Oh murder? Have you seen my videos? Yes, that's that's that, that's the perfect thing to reply. Oh dear. Okay. Anyway. And there's more murder. I like how the blood splatters on the walls as well. It's quite good. We are very much into Archer Island at this point, so this is where it's nice, of course, to have a couple of infantry rather than just one. It gives you actually the flexibility to, uh, you know, manage to pull this off and go, 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 as soon as they come ashore. There we go. I think they're coming in now. Dead, 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 lovely. We haven't actually had an alert about final yet, have we? No. I don't think we have. About uh, what? About Final Wave. I, ah. I often miss it. It's quite subtle because it's white. And if you've got the camera at an angle, it can sometimes kind of fade into mm. the grey. But on this occasion, this should be absolutely fine. Do I want to try and... I'm going to just very quickly try and replenish these guys, my veterans. Uh, these guys should have no way of getting up the hill, which is good. More coming in yet. Uh, get you over there. And you guys over to here. Yeah, we got plenty of time just to basically just top up the health. They're not getting anywhere. Claire, all yours. <laughs> Thomas Fisher says, uh, new drinking game rule. Drink every time John is mean to Claire. I, 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 no, that one I really strongly don't recommend. <laughs> yep. Ooh, that one, that one's dangerous right there. That's a dangerous Ooh, one. Anyway, shout out to Venus, who gave us two pounds, uh, and said, this is my last super chat. Glad to have you back, Claire. Oh, that's nice. I'm not glad sure to be back, Venus. Oh, we're glad to have a Claire. We're Whoa. very lucky to have a Claire. Okay, shout out to Travis, who gave us another $5 and says, no worries on that. We've been together eight years, and she's never missed a birthday of mine. Sorry, Claire. Wow. Wow. Amazing. And, more importantly, we got ourselves a Warhammer. Okay, Claire, your job is to remind me that I have a Warhammer. Okay? That's the job. <laughs> remind me I've got a Warhammer. Also, I've had a Warhorn. Claire! This entire time. I've had a Warhorn this whole time. That's... Can you use that every island? Yeah! Okay. Just for free. Maybe install it. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna give the um the infantry the warhammer because he's the more mobile one, and yeah. then it just increased power for that. So basically, if there's a big group, he's quite useful at that. And I'm gonna give Adric the warhorn for reinforcements. <laughs> so basically, I can just top up the green team. Okay. Well, that's that's nice. And you can also actually rather than veteraning him, I'm just gonna actually get his warhorn. <laughs> So that is, yeah, that actually just basically, and that's extra use per island. Yeah, level two Warhorn, that's like, I think it's like five or six people you can summon from a house reinforced, which is pretty damn good. That's, so that's pretty good. I'm going to bump, by the way, just so I can try and get over bump. to Malmo. Yeah, we, we went to hump last time, now we're going to bump. Sure, uh, shout out to... Uh... Shout out to Serona in the chat who says I thought about trying the John Mean to Claire drinking game with water, then I realised at that volume it would still be dangerous. Very dangerous. <laughs> oh dear, okay. <laughs> Uh, and shout out to Urban Cohort, who uh, asked in chat, what's your favourite Legion? He says, mine are 17th, 18th and 19th. <laughs> I don't actually have a favourite Legion. I'm very sorry. 
Uh, I, 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 this is the first time you've not had an opinion on a thing. I, I do not have... I, I do not actually have a specific favorite historical legion. I'm very sorry. Uh, that that is not a thi that is not something I've ever I've ever come up with an opinion about. Shockingly. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> anyway. <coughs> mm -hmm. Sorry. Shout out to uh, is gone rain who somehow is not donating in Great British Crown, so put that username, you would have thought. Yeah, uh, But you is would. Gone Rain uh, gave us $2 and says, finally I get a chance to watch a live stream. So uh, welcome. Welcome to the stream. And also, Venus says, Minerva is the best legion. Mm -hmm. So now you kind of have to like pick a different one just so that you can disagree with your nemesis, Venus. Uh-huh, my great nemesis. Uh-huh. And, oh, the pipemen are doing beautiful work there. Beautiful work. Apart from that one guy. That one guy who's just not learning his lesson. There you go. He figured out it was a stupid idea to try and find me. Uh, these are just basic lads here. No reason to actually get my lads too involved, to be honest. Though, actually, I might... Ah, it's a bit like do the swapsy roundy now. Be ready to get involved if need be. Might need reinforcements. Though, actually, that many people, they might just... Let's see how this, this works. Also, there's no more. No, there's no more. And... Oh, oh, there's oh, no more. stop. There's no more. Use Stop. It's a bit late. That was a bit oh, late on the on. reminder, Claire. That's a come bit on. late. <laughs> Uh, right, let's let's get let's get veterancy for Aldrich. We could definitely do the veterancy for the pipeman as quickly as possible. I didn't actually really need it that time. Uh, that was it was not it was not urgent on that occasion. Uh, uh, Urban cohort wanted to know that the 17th, 18th, and 19th legions were commanded by one Quintilius Varus. Oh, I know Quintilius Varus. Yeah, fine. Uh -huh. uh, and the English potato would like you to know your favorite Roman battle. Um, ooh. Interesting. Uh, probably just during the... Probably just during the Punic Wars, to be honest. Like, the famous just... I know it's, it's a bit cliche, but probably like, you know, just the famous battles of Hannibal within Italy. Mm -hmm. Uh, just because they're, they're so... They're so very interesting, and they, they influence military history. Not just like... They didn't just influence, like, that particular period insofar as, like, what was decided in those battles. Like, you know, they, they remain studied on of note to actual people who teach people how to military to this day. Mm -hmm. Which I, I find very fascinating. And what do we have coming in here? We just got basic lads and... Where are you going to try and go? You might try and go over here. You might try and go over here. There's actually a fair few... This place is a little bit leaky, this high ground. There's a lot of places you can try and come up. Uh, shout out to Travis again in chat who says, Thank you, John, for yet another game on the channel. I'm going to buy it soon. Bad North looks really fun. It is really fun. It's it's. I'd, I find it's very... It's one of those games that... Okay, technically it's very stressful. I find it very relaxing to play regardless, if you know what I mean. Shh. <laughs> Uh, here we go. And now we've just got archers coming in. So my double infantry can definitely handle that. Claire, back to you. Plenty of time for you to get yourself caught up now if you want. Uh, we're all caught up now. Well, actually, we just had uh, one new uh, super chat from Muggle Lord who gave us $4.99 and says, Hi, John and Claire. I almost missed this stream, lol. So uh, there you go. Welcome to the stream. Glad you didn't fully miss it. Mm -hmm. uh, and Armchair Civilian just also gave us five pounds and says, Shout out on behalf of Mega Raptor to say yay Nutilius and yay Venus. Also, John, you just redeemed yourself with your history lesson. Excellent. Uh, and actually, uh, Thomas in the Thomas Richter in the chat just asked, uh, "What's your opinion of the movie Gladiator?" It's it's a fun bit of silliness, really. I I can't. Too much Russell Crowe. Uh huh. Yeah, I mean it's 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 no Les Miserables. Let's just say that it didn't it didn't utilize Russell Crowe. To his his full ability Shut with his his mag mouth. his magnificent Stop his it. magnificent Don't. singing his magnificent Even I can singing hear mod. it's like not good, <laughs> and I'm really bad at singing. In now, if they were to remake it with Gladiator the Musical, still starring Russell Crowe, now that I'd go and that I'd pretend I wanted to go and see, just so I could drag Claire to the cinema with me, so she'd have to suffer alongside me. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway. Uh-huh. Ah, marvellous. Right, and don't forget to veteran up that guy. Claire, you didn't remind me to use my Warhammer. I was busy. Uh, I was 
I'm busy doing my job. Excellent. And I do have time to get a fifth recruit and that item. Good. We're not actually wow. needing to rush for any of that. Uh, veterancy together with, don't forget, of course, green can also summon reinforcements. Don't forget that ability is there as well. Let's go get ourselves a new item, given I've already got four people and we're not in a rush for either of these. So I'm just going to go and get the... Oh, this is a... <laughs> Look at this little island. Uh -huh. It's literally just... It's just a house. There's no hills. Oh, how cute. There is, there, okay, this is this is an interesting little one. There's literally no choke point aside from what's like created like over here. So I guess double double pikes here is pretty useful, really. I guess. Where are you guys landing? If you guys are landing over there, then I guess technically we just like draw up pikes here and just like let them come, really. Because, <laughs> yeah, they're both landing on this side of the island. So... Well, this is a bit of an odd island. Right, Claire, all yours. Yeah, shout out to Dark Sun Rebel, who uh, gave us five pounds, and says, John, are you going to be playing the Fallout for Miami mod on the channel when it comes out? I was thinking of giving the Luke so yes, it does look quite fun. Uh, so, excellent, uh, yeah, excellent chance, yes. Yeah, and people in chat are quite amused that uh, Malmo is this small, because obviously Malmo is not that small in yes. real life. I don't think any other... Are the other islands actually named after, like, places that really exist? I think some of them might be, like, traditional names. Because, and... like, I'm not sure there's really a hump and a bump island, <laughs> but obviously there is a Malmo, so... There yeah, might well be, you don't know. A hump and a bump island. Yeah. Right, you need to be finished off like right now. You need to yeah, go this is over. A tricky position. Here. You need to go over to here right now. You need to get to here and you need to get to here. And that should just about work. If only I had some form of Warhammer. <laughs> hey, there's a big group. Do you want to use your Warhammer on them? I could do, you know, but maybe it's not the best idea. I'm not sure. Oh no, those are those are those are archers. Those are archers. Back off everyone who's not like, you know, got shields or whatever. Uh, well, that's fine. We can easily just hit them down. Are they the final wave or then more? I don't know. And just use your Warhammer job. Uh, you can't because they're technically not standing on the square right now. Oh, uh, I what see. To oh, hello, sexy. Right, oh, okay. there you go. Now we can now, Warhammer them. Now we can Warhammer. Yeah, okay. Everyone round two here. Mm -hmm. Apparently, a few of them are names of Icelandic islands. Ah. Uh, Emil. Uh, and then, yeah. Mm, let's see. <laughs> okay, yeah. wait for them to all come ashore. And okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, Warhammer! It did, I don't feel like it did much, really. I feel like you know, it, it's nowhere near as effective as just like throwing down a giant pile of uh, you know, just generic, uh, just you know, spears. I feel like it's just a basic spear wall does a better job. To be honest, right, you guys come over here. You guys draw the fire for a second. You guys, actually, if you guys are coming right over here, you guys can go and deal with that. You guys just surround them here. And then you guys can just back off one step. You guys get over here and then we just swarm these bastards. Go, go, go. And then just basically swarm them. Nice. And that should be. Job done. Weird island. Really small island. Very tight. Literally worth one coin. And a bomb. Okay, that's another active use item that you need to remind me to use, Claire. Mm -hmm. Remind me that I need to use a Warhammer and a bomb. Okay, very important. Next turn, I also need to assign the bomb to someone. The bomb should probably again be assigned to people who've actually got, like, mobility. So I'm going to give the bomb to Shelley. So powerful explosive thrown by this commander. I think it's got a range of, like, two two squares. And I don't know whether it's got splash. I can't remember. Like, I've had it before, but I always forget to use it. So... <laughs> Would you believe? Right, over to picking up spare person, because it's only a matter of time until a doom island comes along, and I'm just completely cocking deaded. Uh, small island might need to make sacrifice on the low ground. But then again, we haven't seen a barbarian yet. Barbarians have not started appearing yet. So we'll see. We'll see about that. And then everyone just around here, please. Lovely. So we've got ourselves... Yeah, we got ourselves... Uh, inf yeah, we've got double infantry, one set of pikes, which on this sort of an island is fine. I'm happy that we've got mm -hmm. double infantry, and then the basic lads as well. Wait for them to come ashore, murder them, 
shouldn't be a problem. And... Oh! Oh, uh, oh, Oleander says the bomb can hurt friendly units. So I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. Uh, and yeah, it looks like uh, yeah we're doing, we're not exactly doing a no archers run on purpose, but yeah, that's kind of what it ended up. I feel like archers are fun, but they're the least important in some ways, even though they're really strong because they they just leave you so vulnerable. They leave you hugely vulnerable. Yeah. And over here, and very dead. Stabby stab. I like the stabbiness. The stabbiness is good. Uh, and yeah, it's lots of archers right now. And I've got double infantry, so we're absolutely under control. Claire, all yours. Yeah, a uh, shout out to Jamie, who gave us two pounds uh, and wanted to know, do you think we'll ever see you play Subnautica? Yes, absolutely. Came up earlier in the stream. It's it's not planned imminently, but yeah, it, it gets requests enough. It's a popular, well-known thing. Absolutely, I think it will happen. Yeah, we have plenty of games that are like on a on a long list that, that we keep that, you know, things that get requested a lot, they'll happen at some point. Yeah. Uh, I mean, but... right, we've kind of come out of the summer games drought. Like, right now, the, the schedule's looking a lot more full than it has done previously, So, which is really nice. So we've actually got a good amount of games, new games coming and exciting new fun stuff, which I'm pretty happy with. I'm glad that that's the case now. And now, ah, finally, something that's actually not Arches is coming in. Uh, this is of interest. Uh, okay, I think we can handle this, though. I think we can handle this. You coming in, you're coming in over there. Deploy the spears over there, and then all other three units can actually be deployed. You get over there. You get over here and assist these guys. I think that should be. In fact, you just get back over here and just help out with any of this. And then just basically get over here. Kill, 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 kill. Job done. Yeah, I thought that wouldn't be too bad. You, you can't be intimidated by big numbers if the big number isn't actually anything that dangerous. I think, sadly, I've... Yeah, I'm still not quite enough to veteran this guy. Uh, I could upgrade the bomb. I can't remember what the upgrade for the bomb does, but that's probably a bad idea because I'll, I'll literally never use it. Um, but, you know, you never know. And, yeah, I'm not going to send Tear out by himself. Right, over to Ide, and then we can go to the Isle of Sorts for yet another item. Boom. Clap. Uh, Zachary just gave us uh, two pounds and wanted to know when is the Kerbal live stream coming? Haven't we done one of those? We did one. I thought it was a brilliant one as well. <laughs> we have done one of those. I thought it was we absolutely. Went to the moon. We did. We 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 went. We did indeed go to. We did indeed go to the moon. And, and we were there for a moment. We were absolutely 100%. We had, we, we got... We on it for like five seconds. We were less than five seconds. But technically, like, if you got... So if someone is smeared on the moon, they are still on the moon. The fact right. that, yeah, the yeah, fact yeah, that they've yeah, been yeah, smeared yeah. very fast does not change that fact. Okay. Not in the slightest. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, shout out to the English potato in the stream, uh, in the chat even. <laughs> Who uh, has another Roman question for you? Uh -huh. uh, John, who's your favourite senator? Ooh, that's tough because just about everyone's a senator at some point or other. Um, I mean, I, I, I always liked, I always had a fondness for Cicero, just Cicero and all his stuff. Can, can I just say Cicero? I like, I have You're a soft, to say I have a soft spot for Cicero in general. So, this island's weird. There's a lot of different ways up and around this island. Uh, Andrew wants to know if this game is infinite or if there's a final island. Well, when you when you die, it gives you a percentage of how much you completed. Oh, yeah. So, I'm going to assume, therefore, that means there is actually a, an actual thing. Yes. Mark Garnet says about 40 islands or so. Yeah, that, that sounds about right from what I've seen. Hmm. Bobtron wants to know if you'd consider continuing We Happy Few as a series. Uh, it didn't generate quite enough interest really to justify series for the most part. And I think it still needs a little bit of... It needs a bit of work. Like, narratively, I think it's very strong these days. Gameplay-wise, there are still annoyances and technical issues with it. And it was a little bit buggy. So it, it could do with a little bit of work yet. It's not quite polished enough to justify a series, I think. Mm -hmm. Just check, nothing else is coming in. No, we've got nothing else right in. Instead, we're just going to swarm these archers. And there's a murder sandwich right there. A murder sandwich with extra blood ketchup. Well, Marvelous. extra blood ketchup as well is very important. Very important. Love that ketchup. Well, uh, if, if they get stuck in that square in between you, can you use your warhammer on them? Actually, I can! Hey, Claire! Look at that! Claire! Claire. Okay, go, 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 go. Warhammer, warhammer, warhammer. Claire, I just knocked... <laughs> 
<laughs> what have you done, Claire? Oh what have God. you done, Claire? Claire, you've ruined Claire. You've you've destroyed Claire. This run, if this run now immediately collapses because you just told me to do that. If that's what's about to happen, Claire, I'm going to be very annoyed at you. Because uh -huh. this is going to be your fault at this point. Oh dear. Right, in comes a bunch of people. Hopefully directly into these spears because they go for this house. And yeah, actually they split themselves up very nicely. That's worked out pretty well. And okay, we've managed to recover that unit that Claire ordered me to throw into the cocking sea. <laughs> amazing. Absolutely amazing. Well done, Claire, for attempting to sabotage this run. But you, you cannot. You cannot. Okay, you just can't. And then all the rest over to Taya, ready to start upgrading him. We're okay for the time being. So, we got ourselves Brand, the most miserable looking bastard in the world. He doesn't want to be here. Uh, he's not going out by himself, though. Uh, and that means, Shelly, you're ready to be veteran. Actually, what does the bomb do? Extra <laughs> Shout out to Wolf, who says, John blames Claire, finish a bottle. Mm-hmm. Another successful on that assassination a, by Claire. On that occasion, that was Claire's fault. Claire said, hey, oh, John, hey, John, I why, don't you, do, why was... don't you use your warhammer right by the water when it's got knockback and your unit's to the other side? I'm sorry, I didn't know it had knockback, right? That's literally the purpose of it, you monster. Oh, I thought the purpose of it was to squish things under the hammer bit. No, it's to, it's to knock things back. So that that in that introduces interesting tactical options about how we choose to use that thing going forward. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Uh, shout out to Venus who uh, says Mega Raptor gave me gave money so that I might make a joke at Naughty earlier. Uh -huh. uh, whilst it's not a joke, I'd like to say I love Anna and Naughty is very much. Aw, that's so sweet. Okay, let's get this mushy stuff out of here. All right, take it away, Claire. Use the ban hammer. Oh, I am not banning Venus. Ban Venus, Claire. No. Claire, ban Venus. John, I'm not banning Venus. Why not? Because she's very salty and has a long memory. Love you, Venus. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, shout out to the English. Of friend. all the words, I would have used to describe Venus like lovely, excellent, but I wouldn't oh, have chosen. Please. I wouldn't have oh, gone for please. salty, but okay, whatever. Whatever, Look, whatever Claire thinks of you. That's not the word you. she used, whatever. but I'm not saying that about other women. <laughs> anyway, shout out to Travis who uh, says, uh, John, do you now commentate when you're playing games by yourself and not for the channel? Yes, he does. Yeah. Not just when playing games, when just doing anything. literally anything in the house. Like, I have often I'm like taking my headphones off. I'm, I'm just, you know, working or editing or whatever. And I'm like, John's talking and I have to be like, are you talking to me, the cat or yourself? Yeah, but other times I'm trying to talk to you and you're just wandering around with headphones in all the time listening to podcasts because human communication is for losers and previous generations, apparently. Look, I like knowing things. Mm -hmm. Listening to books. Oh, in comes a and big to old pump. Fair, you like are recording in your loud YouTube voice all day long. Like, if I don't listen to something, I just end up like hearing muffled half of videos. You know, it's people. Not that fun. Other people would pay excellent money for that, Claire. Excellent I'm money. I'm paying excellent money for living here anyway, so you know. Right, get the pipes over there and get the these guys over here just to finish this off nice and quick. And oh, some of them were just knocked in the sea. Knock back into the sea. I forgot, yeah, you can the boat knock back and totally knock them in the water. Right, you guys oh, go and actually Venus heal up. Venus says we're both on her shit list right now. <laughs> I never described you as salty, Venus. Just putting that out there. Salty is a fucking compliment, Jack. It, it's apparent. It's so you say. I use it to describe myself quite a lot. And Green needs to. Okay, that was close. Green was looking dicey there for a second. Ooh, okay. Yeah, one of them landed. Not ah, oh, ring command. Claire, we got a ring command. Cooking love the ring command. Right. Love a ring of command. I don't have to remind you to use it. Yeah, it's brilliant. Uh, Ninja Ops want to know, wants to know uh, if you can't turn off the YouTube voice. Uh, no. Well, it, kind it, of. It's pretty hard. Well, you know. Kind of. Kind I meant of. more like he's using the YouTube voice when he's actually recording for YouTube, which is what it's used for. But yeah, mm. when you're in a flat with someone, you know. Yeah. Like, because you work every day and yeah. you're recording every day. If I'm on a day off, like, doing whatever about the flat, like, I have to have headphones and listen to something. Otherwise, I can just 
hear you and it's not like it can actually hear the video properly and it's not like it's edited down or whatever mm-hmm. you know so let's get over here see if I can get down to that sixth member down south so I've actually got some spares Ooh, we're getting into islands with yeah potential little tunnels or whatever though that one doesn't actually happen to so, no that one doesn't have to go anywhere because there's trees in the way of blocking it up but we're starting to get into that, that little tunnel does something I like it where there's little tunnels the little tunnels are cool Right, we'll defend that house on the low ground if we can, but if we have to, we might be ready to fall back. It feels like about the sort of time the game's going to start throwing <laughs> barbarians in. And, oh, speak of the devil. I literally just called it. I literally called it. Oh, spot on. Right, deploy, <laughs> deploy the veterans to the front line. Oh, yeah. Uh, Sir Roderick uh, points out in the chat uh, that during the most recent Dust video, right at the start, you can hear me catching Yeah, I pointed that out to you when you got back. That's hilarious. I... I presume I was editing Crusader Kings too. Yeah, yeah. I think that's probably what we're about happening. right, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And dead, 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 dead. Good. Okay, this is going well. This is going fine. This one's under control for the time being. Uh, just get ready for them. Block, block, block. Okay, so we can stop all of that happening. Okay, we got this under control for the minute. Both of those guys have been veteran already. Get over there. Get over there. Drive him in the sea. Nice. Spot on. Well done. And there's also a bomb. Don't forget. Claire, you... How could you not tell me about the bomb? I'm busy talking to chat. Uh-huh. Don't forget to tell me about the bomb, Claire. That bomb, the bomb, bomb, bomb. Uh... Go. Maybe move you over to here just in case. I need, actually, I'm not going to need backup. I'm not going to need backup for one group of archers. Actually, maybe. Just for safety. Final wave already incoming. And. This depends on the final wave is, really. And go. Get in there. Nice, 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 nice. Dead. Nice and simple. Uh, that's Oh, that's many barbarians. That's many barbarians. Actually, that really works. Get them out of there. Get them out of there. Deploy the pikes. Deploy the good quality pikes right over here. And deploy backup pikes over here. Everybody prepare the pike. Pike, 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 pikes. There we go. The barbarians. Four barbarians ain't getting past that. Okay, stab, 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 stab. Job done. That was the perfect place for the barbarians to come. They can't do much there. But yeah, okay, barbarians are now spawning. Um, and two for you. And now time to start upgrading everyone else as well. We need to start getting everyone up to tip condition. Uh, actually, I'm going to go for you... Shelly, was it you that picked up the... Actually, I'm going to just keep giving it to Taya. I think he picked up the Ring of Command, didn't he? So, Ring of Command is good. So, let's get him up to level 3 as fast as possible because then literally more people are being upgraded. Uh, so, continue. And... Ah, I can't make it down to Bardsey. That's a shame. In which case, let's just go over and make sure we get Branja. Uh, but you, don't forget to veteran you. And then for 20 coins, I can actually get him up to elite level 3. That's nice. as high as he gets. And then he'll have Ring of Command and level 3. He'll Taya will basically be an impenetrable line at that point. He'll be able to hold anything. Adric has just got... Yeah, he can summon reinforcements, so he's not as strong, but if he gets weak, he can summon reinforcements. Claire, you keep forgetting to tell me about that. Mm -hmm. Dear, oh dear. Uh, Cannon Day looks like a nice island for loads of money and also pretty defensible. I'm heading over to Cannon Day. Let's see what we do there. Uh, uh, shout out to Bobton, who wanted to know... Uh... Who does the editing for the Crew 2 videos? That's you. Oh, no, Crew, crew 2. I thought, I thought you were abbreviating Crusader, Crusader Kings. Crusader Kings 2. No, I think that's, that's an interesting CK abbreviation. Too. Yeah, that's an interesting abbreviation right there. Uh, he that wants is all to me. Know, yeah, Claire, John, Dan, or Matt. I, uh, the ones on Dan's channel are Matt. The ones on my channel are me. Yeah, that's a, that, that's a really tricky editing job. Yeah. That I, I wouldn't... Like, a lot of the time... When it's not a super straightforward job of like removing flubs and removing gaps when you're not, not talking, it can be really tricky if like I'm editing it and I don't know what's coming up and I, I don't you know I don't know what kind of joke notes you're trying to yeah because in the crew two videos you're really trying to like hit specific beats of jokes absolutely as well and yes sync up with Dan and, like. Yeah. yeah, that's a really tricky one. Yeah, it, it, it's very difficult to, to get that right. Mm. I mean, honestly, I've, I've toned down the editing in them 
to be honest, because, like, I think people were, like, you know, perfectly happy with them being, like, a much more chatty, casual road trip thing. And, oh, don't forget, they're actually going to try and burn down a house. Don't let them burn down a house. Boom, boom, kick, 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 kick. Out of bed, don't let them throw the fire. Job done. And you've taken care of that. Right, we've got more barbarians coming in over there. Things are starting to get a little bit more on the stressful side now. Uh, but that's fine. Deploy both of the pikemen. Two pikemen guarding this pass. They're not getting up here. And then just redeploy <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Thomas okay. in the chat is being really upset at your uh, editing of the crew too. Because uh, in the patron cast uh, last month we shared a thumbnail. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, a picture of uh, John. John's many, many, many tracks when he was editing Crew 2. Yeah, well, he's being a snobby editing hipster. There's nothing inefficient about what I'm doing. It uses more tracks than it technically requires, but in terms of, like, the actual workload, it takes no more or less time. And once I've got the actual template set up, it's not even... It's not actually slower to get some of tools. I can just basically take last episode's template and load the loose thing in. Thomas is just being a great big editing snob. I mean, the point is... The point is that, you know, if it works for you to do it in a certain way, then it works for you to do it in a certain way. Like, that's yeah. fine, you know. Uh, and, yeah. You also edit very, very fast, so I don't think anyone can... Uh... Where is he going to go? Is he going to try and make it up there? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, good. He hasn't gone for the ways I haven't got them, uh, protected. He's going to get them over there for them off. Good job done. I was worried they might try to take the middle path. one guy trying to climb like a vertical wall. Well, the thing is, there are four ways up. Because there's here, there's these two passages, and there's that way up there. So I couldn't protect all of that. I was a little bit on the, uh, mm. the tricky side. But that's a lot of money that's just been handed over from that island. So we're already getting close to Taya being... Well, not close, but not too far off either. Uh, I'll probably take... Uh, seal car seems pretty simple, and that's just an easy five coins. I'm gonna say that's probably means that uh, I'm gonna die here, you know. But I'd, I'd like to get another item of island of cat. Oh, this is a weird one. Okay, just wait. What? Uh oh, Claire. Yeah. Claire, I accidentally deployed Bran by himself. Lol. Claire, Bran. Can you go back at all? No. Bran needs to kill something, get in its boat, and then flee. Um. Okay, Bran. Bran, there's a boat coming in right now. You just need to kill these guys, and then immediately afterwards. Okay, Bran could be in trouble. Bran, Bran could be in a lot of trouble. Um. Bran just needs to, to kill... Oh, what the heck are these? Are these... I think new elite units just started spawning in, Claire. New elite units just started spawning in. Oh, those are axe throwers. Claire, the axe throwers. Ah! Claire, the axe throwers just showed up. Claire, the axe throwers are here. Get in the boat. Finn, no, save the island. Save the island. We can win this by myself. We can't win this. There's two barbarians coming. They're going to murder you. Flee. I can't flee. There's not enough boats. The boats aren't big enough. Well, you did. Okay, maybe if some of these people die, then I can. Um, okay, maybe their boat's big enough. Is their boat big enough? Their boat is also not big enough. Okay, um, so I'm going to try and get a few of my people killed by the barbarians. Okay, now back off. Okay, no, 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 back, 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 back. Okay, no, flee. Run away from them. The barbarians are coming. Okay, now I can flee. Now I'm allowed to flee because there's enough. Go, 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 go. Get out of the run. boat. Get out of the boat. Go, flee. Well, no, I've got one guy with me. I like that that's how it is. You need to actually have sufficiently few people to fit in the boat. Okay, now we're just leaving. Now we're just now we're just going away. So this this island is this island's that this island's had a bit of a That was a mistake. Bram wasn't really supposed to be deployed over there. So uh, on that note Yeah. <laughs> shall we have a break and eat uh, some Jaffa cakes? Oh that's a good idea. Yeah, break and Jaffa cakes. Mm-hmm. Right, okay, that's that's an excellent idea right over there. We will be back in three to five minutes, something of that nature. Whoa, 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 whoa. We need to pick Jaffa cakes and I'm allowed to hug Tabby, so, you know. Fine, more like four or five. Yay.
And we are back and we are Jaffa Kate Tup. Thanks for asking. Uh, okay. So, where were we? Ah, yes, of course. We need to go and get more items. And specifically, we need to, like, you know, not actually, like, deploy Bram by himself. That, that's a mistake. Uh, and unfortunately, that technically did happen. Um, oh, so no. that, that island's now been burnt. So there's no point going there anymore. Because the barbarians have already actually burnt down yeah. the houses. Once burnt, the houses are burnt. They're just burnt. Sure. Um, so instead, let's actually skip forward to Harsh Rock, which looks pretty defensible, all things considered. Then we can nip back, get the islands, and hopefully pick up a sixth person down there as well. Uh, so we'll go down over there. Standard team. Deploy them. Nice little kind of autumn feeling going on here. That little house may well be sacrificed. We'll see about that. There's actually an annoyingly large number of ways to get up this. But we'll see. We'll see what shows up. Uh, straight into Barbarians as a starting point. But Barbarians are probably the best angle that a Barbarian can come from. Because Barbarians from that angle, we can just block them with double Veteran Pikes. So the double pike team should be able to handle that business nice and easy. Claire, what's been going on while we've been eating Jaffa cakes? Sorry, the open. Sorry, Claire. Was, Claire was eating a Jaffa cake. There. Yeah, that's what happened. Uh, sorry, the open spam boss gave us fifty uh, Danish krona and wanted to know: Have either of you played any form of trading card games like Magic the Gathering? I used to just like have a few Pokemon cards, like just casually, but I'd never say I was like a serious player. I'm not sure I ever really played a competitive game. To be honest. Okay, so. I can't remember what it was called because this was, you know, over ten years ago. But um, but when I lived in Lyon, there was this like tiny uh, French and English sci-fi bookshop near where I lived. Oh, what the Claire? Like, Claire, we've got ah, Claire, 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 we've got big problems. We've got barbarians holding mega bows. Well, use your warhammer or something. That's a really clever idea, Claire. You've got all the good or ideas. Bomb. More good, all the good Maybe ideas. Maybe bomb them. Yeah, I'm gonna bomb them. We're gonna bomb the heck out of them. All right, go, 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 go. Okay, go, go, go. Ah, no, that was my own, guys. <laughs> that was back off, back off, back off. Oh, what the cock is? Oh, there's more, Claire. This is insane. Claire, 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 Claire. Okay, I'm gonna knock him in the sea. Knock him in the. No, oh, I knocked him in the sea. Go, get him. Okay, I think they're actually in a, in a straight fight. They're actually not so bad. Hide behind the houses. Protect me, civilians. Protect me. Okay, these guys need to chill out. These guys need to need to relax. Okay, we need to... Okay, we really need to hide. Okay, prepare. Prepare to swarm in with everything we've got. Final wave incoming. Right, these guys are cocking insane. Go, 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 go
This is fine. Oh, hang on. This is this is better. Yeah, just go and take out the get okay. Get yourself shot by some bow people. Please shoot me. Shoot my men. I need fewer men so I can escape. This is what you know good commanders do. Go, go, go and shoot me. Shoot me, you stupid bastards. Can we flee? We still can't flee. Go, go on, shoot me. Shoot me. Shoot me. Shoot me. Shoot me. Shoot me. Okay, now we can Okay, now we can flee. Okay, now we just go down this way. We finish off the arches on the way down. Go. 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 Okay, now we flee in this boat. Flee in this. Flee in this. Oh no, we have we can't flee in that boat. We need to flee in. I need to find a, a small Okay, go, 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 go,
Yeah, I think it, I'm not sure if it's actually picked up a date. Uh, written, the date's been written down yet. Mm. If this is the final wave, we can handle this. I think. Um, go, go, go. Well, yeah, we always uh, things like that that come from me searching Steam. They tend to be they tend to be things that come up as like releasing soon in the coming soon tab. On Feel free to just Steam. nip into my email as well and check if they actually mention email when they sent us the code. Sure, sure, sure. I'll have a look see. Yeah. Also, shout out to Yusia who uh, let me know in chat. Uh, I've ordered chocolate McVitie's. They were delivered from the UK to the USA in the middle of the July heat. It was a congealed brick of biscuits and chocolate. Doesn't sound like the worst thing in the world. So worst I, things have happened at sea. So I did the American thing and deep fried it. You. So I asked him if it was awesome because it sounded pretty awesome and he said yes. <laughs> so, um... You know, hats off to you from me from London, and I'm sure, uh, I'm sure also from you know multiple people in Scotland as well. Okay, I need to stick. To, I'm gonna go to Fraggle Rock next because I need as many high places and choke points as possible to, to keep alive. Because Brown is now Pikes, but he's basic non-veteran Pikes, mm -hmm. so I need him veteran as quickly as possible, and I need an item for him, which is why I want to go over to Crow's Nest. Mm -hmm. So we'll we'll see how we get on. We'll see how we get on over. Ooh, it's winter. It's winter. Oh, this is an under I've already visited because it kind of looks like it's already on fire. Um, or was at some point on fire anyway. Uh, okay. How many ways up do we have? Not so bad. There's a bit more. There's a few more ways up than I'd like. But I can, I can hopefully work with this. And don't forget, I can summon reinforcements with my war horn. And I've got my bomb and I've got my hammer. Claire, don't let me forget those things. Bomb and hammer, yeah. Bomb and hammer, yes, absolutely. Uh, Harold can get over there. You can just basically head down over here, intercept those guys. Which way are you going to go, logically? You might go this way, but you're more likely to try and come this way. Uh, so just in case you guys get over here, we can block up the barbarians like that. That's absolutely fine. And then we can just nip down. Actually, are you going to... Are you going to here or to... Oh, no, you're going around that way. Sorry, I didn't realize you were going around that way. Right, um, just start going around here and intercepting them, please. And are they ready? Oh, whoa, 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 Okay, back, tell them, tell, tell blue team to back off. Blue team is screwed. Uh, retreat, retreat, retreat. Oh, Claire, this is starting to, this is starting to go a bit wrong. This is, this is starting to go a little bit wrong. You need to finish off those bastards immediately. You need to get over here. Blue team needs to just basically retreat. Okay, blue team needs to just go and refresh for a bit. Um, you go and take them out. You go and take them out. Okay, I think we can stabilize here. You just need to finish off these here stupid damn archers. Finish them off. Finish them off. Uh, we've taken a lot of casualties. Um, okay, you. How are you doing? Actually, you know what you'll do for the time being? You guys guard that place. You guys get over here. Guard this place. There. Okay, I think we've stabilized. That was looking dicey. I'm guessing the Fs are going to start showing up imminently. Well, um, so I found that email from the people at Bad North. Uh, does it actually say embargo? Please do not show any footage of this till September 1st. If so, that'd be marvelous. Uh, no, the embargo for videos is August 14th. It does have hand that says no streams allowed at the moment. <laughs> well done, John. <laughs> He's making such a face. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly, present. Okay, so, welcome to West of Lothar. <laughs> Slight mistake. Slight. Oh, he's gonna try and take out this house. Uh, try and stop him. Try and stop him. Try and stop him. Draw up defensively. So can we play FTL now? Yeah. That's fine. Don't worry. I'm sure it's okay. Oh god. Oh 
Oh, that was, I'm, I'm very sorry, but that was quite funny. Uh-huh. Go, 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 go. Ten bajillion archers coming in. We got the archers. We're all right. All right. Get them. Run them in the sea. Run them in the sea. Oh, the murder. The murder. <laughs> the murder. The murder. Oh, Victory at Fraggle Rock. Okay, we got this. <laughs> Shut up. To Nicko Paul, who gave us five Australian dollars, says you had one job. <laughs> okay, let's get Brown up towards. Uh, let's get Brown up towards veteran quick as you like. We're only only one away. Okay, crow's nest. That's hopefully going to be it's a good fine. idea. Fine, blame it on Venus. It's a good idea. We'll blame Venus. Crow's nest. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I, I choose to read that as no streams for the minute, but like after the embargo, obviously that's fine. That's very much not how it reads. No. You will have to check it yourself, but that's not how it reads. I'm going to send him a nice email after this apologising. Mm -hmm. so, anyway, I, I, shout out to Lucy who gave us $5 and says uh, all caps legal fees fun. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oops. Slight, slight, slight mistake. Slight okay. error. Damn it, Claire. Why didn't you tell me that this live stream was illegal? Claire. I'm Claire's decided she just wants no part of this. Excellent. <laughs> If the police come round, Claire's gonna pretend she's not seen my face before. No idea who I am. No one's seen your face before. You're an egg box. That's very true, actually. Uh, uh, and, okay, so this island's going really well. This island is going very, very well indeed. I mean, on the bright side, there's no tweets from the team at Bad Norse shouting at you right this day. <laughs> That's good. That's good. No, I, we generally will write them a little email just saying we're very sorry. We did not mean to break stream but embargo. You mean you. Very sorry. And in comes a bunch of... And... Stabby, stab, 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 stabby, stab, 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 stab. This is going pretty well so far. Uh, right, okay. Then we've got... Where are you guys even coming? You must be coming over. Actually, you know what? This will be fine for you bastards around over here. You guys could probably do with a bit of a refresh if I've got time. Yeah, I've probably got time. I'm going to give these guys a refresh quickly just to get them topped up now while we've got a good moment. I know they've only lost like 25% of their strength, but just in case. Just in case. And then these guys have no choice but to try and pass through this spear wall. And the chance of them being able to pull it off is extremely limited. Yep, there we go. Fine. And then in comes some archers. We should be in good shape around here. This is looking fine for the time being. And momentarily the... Oh, here we go. More archers. Right, okay. Get these guys over here. Clear out these bastards. Final wave incoming. Get these guys right back into the sea as quick as you like. And then round over here. Actually, you know what? All the way round over here. We can... Nope. Okay. To them first then. To them... To them first, and then you can figure out what to do next. Get over here. Do not let them shoot these guys. Get them out of here. More flipping, uh, flipping archers. Get you guys back over here. You guys fall back over here. And then we've got... Oh, we've got ten bajillion archers around there. Um, this is fine. Uh, more or less. And, okay, at this point, just get you guys around over here. Get you guys around over here. Get you guys around over here. Get these guys over here, and then we need reinforcements as quickly as flipping like. And actually, Claire, mm -hmm. I, I've got this. I've got this warhammer thing. Yeah. And Sorry. I'm oh! That was amazing. I oh, it. it was really good. I knocked so many of them into the sea. Oh, it was actually really good. It was actually really good. Okay. Well, sorry, I'm checking the Bad North Twitter to check, you know, if they're saying things about streaming. <laughs> okay. Bran, Aldrich, do we have enough money for Aldrich to be upgraded? Not quite, sadly. I can veteran Bran, which is the important thing. And, more importantly, Bran can have a... Was that a ring of... That was Warhorn, wasn't it? Yes, that's reinforcements as well. So, assign that, veteran him. So, Bran is now actually capable of doing a decent job. 
Let's get down over towards Caldi. I think pretty soon we're going to just be absolutely slaughtered. Yeah. Uh, and then we can call it a stream there. <laughs> uh, and a completely illegal stream. La la la. Oh, la la la. Uh, although actually, I don't anyway. even... Yeah, I think I'm actually okay just drawing up right okay. here and here with these guys at the back. We should be fine. And that is, how can you guys even make it up? Is there a way up around there? Actually, if those guys are just going over... Yeah, you know what? I'm better off just drawing up over there. And Ooh, this <laughs> oh, this is a bit on the grim side. Big grim here. There's gravestones all over it. Dear, I flipping dare. Shout out to uh, the English potato who says in uh, chat, uh, John, you should play prison architect. You'll need the knowledge sooner <laughs> than later. The escapists would have been a better joke. Actually, I think you'll find. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we've got ourselves around here. Yeah, these guys have got no choice but to go around here. So actually, this works pretty well for my new pikeman. And bear uh, in mind... Oh no, some of those arches in there. There's flipping arches in there. Right, back off, back off, back off. Ouch, do not shoot my cocking pikeman, you bastard. Right, get around over there. Excuse me. No, 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 no. Screw you. Get in the sea, 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 get in the get in the sea. In to the sea with you. Right, this guy now needs to heal up, like now. And the other, uh, yeah, the other guy needs to be deployed in his place. That's fine. Are you guys okay, by the way? How much damage did you just take? You taken, hang on, that is probably enough for me to warhorn. Uh, yeah, Warhorn. You're okay, though. I'll save your Warhorn for later. Claire, I just remembered my Warhorn existed. Oh, good. I think, quite frankly, I deserve a medal. And then these guys have literally nowhere to go. There we go. That's true. Anyway. Um... Oh, trouble. And, okay. Yes, Claire, sorry. Carry on. Uh, shout out to uh, Venus, who says, I accept all responsibility for this as my poor John broke embargo and terrible and should be banned. Ban hammer me, Claire. That, did she actually say it in a sexual way or are you being weird right now? I'm making it weird. You're making it weird. Well done. Uh, shout out to Travis, who gave us two dollars and an egg carton. <laughs> Uh, Trackpoint gave us five euros and says, as your attorney, I invite you to start a four FTL live stream immediately. Hashtag illegal stream. Uh, well, we have to stop before nine anyway because the crew two's coming up. So. That is true. That is true right there. Uh, and, okay, bomb, bomb, bomb! <laughs> Shout out to James who gave oh. us seven dollars and says, apology bribe for the Bad North team at plausible concept. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's nice. Shout out to Callum, who gave us two pounds and says, jo <laughs> says John. La la la, continues breaking stream embargo. <laughs> well, oh. you know, once you've murdered one person, you may as well murder two. Alright, it's not like two life sentences really matters when you think about it. Okay. Moving swiftly along, shout out to Lord Lovecraft, who uh, gave us $2 and says you can just claim it's Total War with the graphics on low. Mm-hmm. That's an excellent <laughs> idea. Right. Um, and shout out to Sir Binky, who gave us £2 and says £2 bail money for John. <laughs> this was a mistake. As a general rule, there are not, like, a streaming embargo being like an indefinite state of day after. Like, I literally check the bug before the video comes out, and once a video comes out, I assume streaming is fair game. Um, so I do feel quite bad about this. Yeah, maybe we, well, ne next time um, might be a good thing to pop in the calendar, maybe. Yeah. I think this was in the calendar, wasn't it? Mm. Did I forget to put it in the calendar? I mean, if there's an embargo. Ah, fair enough. We don't put those in the calendar, but if there's a different one for videos and streaming, it might be a good idea. I do check that before I schedule before I schedule any videos at Yeah, obviously. Um, um, but I normally I normally just check it for 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 videos and then I only actually stream stuff that's already passed it. Uh oh Well illegally streaming is sometimes justified <laughs> Approve. Uh -huh. Approve that, right, get get my guys on the front line right over here. Right, okay, and, and, okay, yep, go, and then, excuse me, and, oh, oh, no, that was my own guys again. Okay, the Warhammer's very dangerous. 
<laughs> the Warhammer is very cocking dangerous. I'm gonna just quickly go and actually rest this squad up because I just knocked some of them into the sea. Uh, do I have enough strength to? You guys need to. Oh, flip! Oh no, those are just basic arrows. I thought those were the big terrifying arrows. Go, 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 go. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Okay, you guys go and interact with these bastards over here. You guys fall back if you'd be so kind. Get ready to get over there momentarily. Just don't get involved right now. Okay, get over here, get over here, get over here, get over here. Okay, get, get, get. And then just round over here, chase them down, chase them down, chase them down. Okay, get over here and then just things down. And now you guys get over here and just things down over there. Get your spears down. That house is going to be destroyed, but my spears can't advance. Go, 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 go. Is that house going down as well? That house is... Is that... That house might just be okay for the time being. Um, one of my... You guys are actually back, right? Yeah, you guys are back. Get down over there. You guys are in not great shape right now. Activate your war horn. Summon more guys. Get something over here. That house is just going to have to be sacrificed because this is a mess. Um... Okay, seriously, you guys, get down over there. Sort out those guys. Hurry it up, hurry it up, hurry it up, hurry it up. Uh, that house is in trouble. Can we do anything to this house? Um, go over to here and then just warhammer them. Go, warhammer. Yeah. Oh, that's a few of them in the water. That'll do some good work. Right, most of the houses here are already dead. There's barbarians coming in, which means I no longer have the ability to really... I might be able to take it. Okay, I'm just going to move you around the back here. I'm going to see where the barbarians are going. Where are the barbarians going right now? Because the barbarians are probably going to end up going in too. You guys get over to here in case the barbarians are trying to get up this slope. No, the barbarians are going over there. Uh, which means these guys can just get around the back here and hit these bastards nice and quick. Those barbarians. There's more barbarians coming in. Uh, right, okay. Get over here and interact with the barbarians there. Go, and then you get over there. Hit them. You get over. You get over here and hit that. This is getting a little bit on the uh, everywhere side, Claire. Right. Okay. You. Uh, have you already used your warhorn, or you you can't use it because you're in combat? Probably you can't use it because you're in combat. I need you to step away so you can warhorn if you're allowed to. What about you? Can you warhorn? You or should be allowed to warhorn. They're heading up to that island, right? Yeah, they're heading up to the top right now. Uh, how much have you got left? Not much. Who's still got a bomb? I'm pretty sure there's still a bomb around here. Okay. Get you guys over to here. And bomb. Bomb. Bomb the house! That'll do. Uh, is the house okay? Oh, I think we've just lost all the houses. All the houses are gone at this point. This is, this is starting to get really nasty. We're not making... There's a lot more archers yet! Oh, cock, there's a lot. Um, you guys have already... Have you guys already replenished? Oh, you can't replenish because there's no houses! That's the problem! Oh, cock, Claire, we're being absolutely shredded. Uh, okay, I need you to... No, I need you to... Ah! And then you'll have zero money Cl as Cl well. Cl 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 get over here, get over here, get, get over here. Can get, you flee? Get over here. Okay, and... Oh, he's already done it. Yeah, you're not wrong. Flee, 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 flee. Ah, uh, flee, flee, flee. Oh, he's dead. Okay, you guys need to... Okay, get over here. Go, 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 go. Abandon island. Abandon island. Abandon island. Abandon island. Okay. Um. So, you guys get in the big boat. You guys, you guys can fit in any boat, would you believe? Go. We lost two people there. Who was... I didn't, I didn't even catch the other one being killed. This is starting to get... Okay. Oh, I've now only got... I've got two... Two actual... Um, pikes. No infantry. <laughs> Meaning I've basically got zero defence against archers. Uh, shout out to Freya, who gave us five uh, pounds and says, Stop! You have violated the law. Pay the court a fine or serve your sentence. Your stolen steam streams are now forfeit. Hashtag <laughs> illegal stream. Someone else also said that uh, your sentence was going to be walking on Lego. <gasps> which I thought was really quite mean. That's very harsh. Okay, but, okay, I've, I've still got a chance, Claire. Uh-huh. Look at this. This island. I've got to an island with an extra person. Oh, very So nice. I've got one basic set of recruits. To, oh no, actually they start off as archers. Oh, why are you archers? That's something I don't need. Uh, I think 
at this point we need to basically say screw it we're just hiding at the top i think we're, we're not bothering trying to save these houses i think at this point we're hiding at the top letting my archers do the work and speaking of which yeah we'll they'll do fine against all of that archers can just basically get up here and handle all of that there's no way those guys are doing anything to me I, I am basically saying these houses can just go screw themselves. Um, we're not going to even attempt it. I need to save literally... Because I'm, I'm one man down. I'm one man down. The only thing I can do right now is attempt to... Um, is just attempt to hold this high ground. Which I think I can do unless too many archers show up. But even then, I've got some archers here. So these guys are going to try and push their way up here. And... Keep my archers back, please. Yeah, okay. Right, I think, okay, barbarians I can see off. These guys, infantry I can see off. They can toss as much infantry and barbarians as they want. They're not pushing their way up a hill into a choke point against actual veteran spearmen. They're not getting through. But if archers start showing up, I just need to counter shoot them. It's just counter fire. That's all I've got. Luckily, it's barbarians, which I think I can actually handle. Claire, all yours. Um... Shout out to Richard, who gave us two pounds and says, more for the legal defense slash bribe fund. <laughs> Rusty Bike gave us 11 dollars eleven a few dollars for your legal defense fund. Hashtag illegal street. <laughs> Dan gave us five dollars. Best of luck. Hashtag John legal defense fund. Claire, Claire, there's archers on every side. There are archers coming from every cocky direction. Shout out to Urban Gobles, who gave us uh, six dollars Said, uh, <clears throat> By order of the y'all, stop right there! <laughs> stop right there, criminal scum! You have committed crimes! You have violated my mother! My what say you in your defense? Oh, cock, Claire, we're being torn apart by the archers! Um, Shadon Friday? Go, go, go! Go! Go and die with honor! Die with honor! Claire, there's a lot more archers yet! There's so many more archers! Shadon Can we fix it? Why are you singing Shadow of Freud for you to pop the builder? Because I'm bad at tunes. Go, go, you stupid bastards, go! Run, charge! Charge them! Hit them with your swords, they're not very good in a melee! You might actually have an- Oh, wait, I can- Claire! I've got reinforcements! Summon up all the reinforcements! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! I might have just been saved by the reinforcements! Oh, no, but now there's more barbarians coming in. Okay, go, 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 go over here, go over here, go over here, go over here, go over here. Okay, go, 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 go. Just, just kill them, please. I know you're pikemen, but you can do this, the cocky archers. Okay, at this point, you need to just back off. Back off to the high ground. Back off to the high ground. All of you need to go get the back up to the cocky high ground. There might just be enough. I don't, there's not enough. The barbarians are about to kill us. Go, 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 spearmen. Oh, the commander's trapped. The commander's trapped on the low ground. Oh no. No. Oh no. Stab. Okay, um, guys, just stay where you are. Stab, 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 stab. Why are you guys not prepared for the one thing? Oh, it's because your commander's. Okay, go. Run, 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 run. Okay, Claire, we're running for it. We're going. We're out of here. We're out of here, Claire. Okay, um, go. Get him. Take that massive boat all for yourself. Oh, the guy who was living on this island, he's not. I'm just going to take this boat by myself. I'm just going to take this boat. So, um, I'm down to one guy. So... Uh, shout out to uh, Gavrilin, who gave us 10 Canadian dollars. Good dollars. And says, always willing to support a rebellion, have some of the best dollars, hashtag illegal speech. <laughs> See, it is annoying when people keep bringing it up when you've made a mistake. Uh-huh. You, you don't know my pain, Claire. You just don't know my pain. I feel like I'm being extremely gracious about this compared to how <laughs> you would be, but whatever. Oh, dear. Aldrich. Oh, Aldrich. It's all up to you, my good man. Right, what have we got? What have we got? If only I, if I, they had the pipe charge ability, maybe they'd, they'd have been able to do better. Because it does actually give the pipe... They, they actually do actually have, like, a bit of fire, a bit of hitting power. Come on, Aldrich. Die with dignity. Die with dignity, Aldrich. Actually, probably the best thing I can do is not die with dignity. The best thing I can probably do is just basically keep fleeing until I can find more people. And then flee with them and just try and keep keep myself going until I can build at least half a team. Because I can't win right now. 
No chance I can win right now. Uh oh, is that the big terrifying barbarians with the special? Oh, that's veterans. That's vets coming in. That's vets. Okay, but, okay, wait, 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 wait. If I just basically come over here. Actually, this is possibly the one fight I can win. This is actually the one fight I can actually win. Hold up here. Get the spears down. Give them a good poke. And, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So those are going to be veteran or elite infantry. But there's not much they can really do. Right. Pull them into a bridge battle. Pretty much. That's actually the plan. Yes. That's genuinely the plan yeah, that right was now. Urban cohort saying that in the chat. Uh, right, go and just finish those guys off. Oh, I've actually finished off a unit. Okay, now I just need to lure these guys into a fight over here. They should take the bait and come this way, because that's logically where they go next. And, yeah, actually, we're... Claire, we're, we're not losing yet. I know, it's weird. Um, because they haven't actually deployed archers against us. And this guy, just, this guy will not get the message. Because he, he's quite tough, and he's got a shield. There you go, he finally got the picture. Okay, um... If I draw these guys up here, then I can't save that house, but I can save the rest of it. Oh, they, they just bypassed that house. Oh, are these guys just psychos who just go straight for you and ignore the houses? That's possibly what's going on here. I'm, I'm doing surprisingly not dying. Finish off that guy. Come on, come on, come on. Finish him off, finish him off, finish him off. Finish him off, finish him off. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh-oh. Go down here. Go, 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 go. Flee, 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 flee. Yeah, they don't care about the houses. These are just the psychos. These are the cocking... Uh-oh. That's the... Right, go, 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 go. Can we flee now? Yeah, we can flee. Go, 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 go. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. That's what these guys are for. These guys don't actually give a shit about... Get in the boat! Get in the boat, Aldrich! These guys don't care about the houses. Literally, the only thing they do is they hunt you down. Which is why they look a bit like cute ninjas, I guess. <laughs> They're just basically hunters. They Because everyone else just paths straight to the nearest house. They path straight to the nearest you. Great. Uh, so I am a treasure. Yes. And therefore I asked the chat uh, if they could ask you some questions that do not have to do with <laughs> the very legal stream we're doing right now. Mm -hmm. uh, you know. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Retro for the win would like to know, John, would you stream Dragon Age Origins? I've never heard of it, so no, I guess not. <laughs> Venus would like to know a rough time estimate till the next community play day. She'd love to join one. Oh, they're so irregular. I, I have no clue. They don't have any form of regular pattern to them. So I, I, I just do not know. I'm sorry. Thomas would like to know if you've heard of Hamsterdam. No, uh, I'm pretty sure it's somewhere in Luxembourg. John. Yes. I pronounced the H. I did that. I, I was very careful about that. Uh huh. What's up here? Can no, we? No, 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 Thomas. He's just not responding to your question at all. Uh huh. Anyway, uh, in <laughs> engineer wanted to know what's uh, mine and yours favorite beverages. Pims. Good old Pims. G gin and tonic. Yeah. Okay. Keep it going on. Just keep on murdering. Until such time as Big Boat arrives or I enough of my people are dead that I can just escape on the boat. I can keep this going. I can make it to the next person. Oh, there's the cocking psycho oh, assassin. Quality stream fan art from uh, Venus there. Extremely, extremely high quality. Uh, okay. I need these guys to start coming at me. Oh, is there a, is there a way up from... No, there's no way up from that side. Good. If we're lucky... These guys will... Yes, I know all the houses are dying. Come on, come and get me. Come and get me, you cowards. There we go. Stop, 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 Yeah, the weird thing is when archers don't show up, a single unit of pikes can do a weirdly good job. How are you guys doing, by the way? You're actually still at full flipping strength as well. Barbarian and basic infantry we can handle. They're just going to come at me up that hill. And we can handle that. Unless they come up them. Okay, technically that. Oh, they're just going to try and burn down that house, are they? Well, that's just not... That's not nice. That ain't nice. Boom. Okay, after the last house is dead, you're going to bother trying to come and kill me? It would be great if you would. Yeah, now they will. Stop, 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 st
I wonder if I can actually win this one. Because there's no archers showing up. The game stops spawning archers. I'm not sure these guys have got actually, like, any ability to pierce a single unit of pikes. Because <laughs> this, this wave's going to be fine. This wave's under control. Like, unless they get stupid lucky and there's just a weird glitch. There's, they're not getting through. They, you're not getting through. You're not getting through. None of them are getting through. This is... Claire, we might be able to win this battle with one unit. This is ridiculous. And we won't get any money for it because all the houses are dead. In come the assassins and... Uh, shout out to... <laughs> We're gonna win! Yeah. I mean, to be the, your final wave coming in is quite a few things. That, so. No, none of them are ranged. None of them are ranged. And they're all gonna come... They're gonna pass straight at me. Ah, here's the final wave. That's not the final wave. Okay, let's see what comes... If the final wave turns out to be archers, I'm gonna be really sad. That's not archers. That's not archers. Claire, I think we're actually just won this stupid battle. How? Because... because. No, I mean, I know how, but like... <laughs> Because what? pikemen. Uh, so this this completely destroyed pile of ash. It is our completely destroyed pile of ash. We just won. <laughs> we get nothing for it. Uh, that there's a special achievement for that. Cold steel. Excellent. There's no coins to hand out, but we won. Uh, says Dan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep yeah. going. Keep going. We could win. We could win this, Claire. Probably. <laughs> oh, it's getting into proper winter now. It's getting proper winter. I mean, that makes me feel like we're getting close to the end of the game. Because we started off and it was spring. And we've been through summer and autumn. And now it's deepest winter. Which makes me think there's a possibility. Oh, Claire, there's way too many ways up. There's way too many ways up here. You can't. I can't block this up as effectively as last time. No. You don't have a choke point. Uh, there's too many. Look yeah. at that. Uh, if yeah. I if I hold out here, I might be able to hold out against the the bastards because they'll pass straight at me and ignore the houses. So I might be able to defend like a couple of houses. I might be able to do the same thing again. If the game is generally stopped spawning basic archers, pikes may have just become even more powerful. Yeah, they, they, they can't get through. They can't get through. There's quite a lot of... Those yeah. are basics. Don't worry about them. That's, that's easy. No chance they cause in trouble. Unless they decide to path around the back of me, round the house. But I don't think they're going to. Yeah, but you see what you can see where they're going. And... Stabby, stabby, stab. They're going to burn down that house. Then I think, I assume they're going to path up here. And as a result of that, they're probably going to come around. Yeah, they're going to burn down that house. Fine. Then they're going to have to come at me. Uh, but there's still one house alive at the back. And yep, yeah, dead, dead, dead. I might actually be able to... I might not just win. I might actually be able to get a coin from this battle. Oh, no. One of them's got around the back of me. One of them's got around the... Uh-oh. Claire, run, 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 run. Go, 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 go. Go, Commander, run. Run, Commander. Commander. Snake. Snake. Oh, that's nice. What? If you rotate the camera, the snow's at. It's not just a lair. Yeah. The snow's actually being like it's proper three D ified. Are we dead yet? Yeah, we're very dead. Okay. We're really dead. Uh, shout out to Antun who gave us fifty Swedish krona. Thank you for very much indeed. And says, could this be described as advanced rock paper scissors? <laughs> Also, shout out to my Norwegian friend, Sigva. Hello, Sigva. Yes. Um, I I think that's a little bit unfair, though. Well, I, 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 I can it's see where they're right. going. I can see where they're going with that. There are absolutely um, instances of not quite hard countering, because the people have pointed out, like, technically infantry don't entirely hard counter archers, etc. But yes, broadly, mm -hmm. the right unit in the right place is ridiculously spectacular. The same unit in the wrong place is absolutely melts like paper, which is, I think, good. I think that's a sign of good game design. That's right. interesting. It, that's how Shogun 2 Total War works. And I mean, you shouldn't have a unit that's like just good at everything. Yes, exactly. It's boring. Exactly. Um, and shout out to Elias, who gave us 20 Swedish krona and says, this is amazing, hashtag Pike Power. Mm -hmm. Possibly sent just a bit before we died. Yes, quite um, possibly that is the case, yes. <laughs> Urban Cohort says, a proper, ha a proper ending to a rebel stream. <laughs> 
Um, yes. <laughs> Thomas Risher says, single pike man. Single pike man. He tried, damn it. Good. He tried, but the assassins got him in the end. The assassins got him in the end. Right, we will wrap things up there. Ed Claire, anything you need me for any last minute catch ups? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, if you, I don't know if you want uh, to stop now, if you want to take some questions, because we can do either. Uh, just yeah, we're gonna have a, just throw a few questions at me. We'll need to wrap up soon because in half an hour, the next episode of The Crew 2 will be coming out on Dan's channel. Well, a couple of people have asked us throughout the... And I try not to give you too many questions about will you do such and such game during the streams. Yes. But now that we're done, a couple of people have asked if you were planning to play Fallout 76 when it comes out. Nah. I was just going to skip it. John. Just going to skip it. John. I mean, you know... John, I, 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 tell them. I need to play Fallout 5. I haven't played 6. I looked them all up on Amazon. I couldn't find them. They must be very obscure. I mean, I don't know how they got... It must be like the Ultima series where they just got 10 bajillion of the bastards. So, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to skip that. I'm just going to skip that. I, I don't really like this, this outfall thing or whatever it's called. Yep, next. You know, people ask again and again because they've not been there every time you've mentioned it before, right? <laughs> it's fair for people to ask, okay? <laughs> this is why I keep it till the end. You uh -huh. have to be nice and tell them. Okay. Yes! Obviously. <laughs> no, but like, we get people every week asking about Fallout 4 YOLO and asking about Fallout 76 and various other things. And, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. I we've said it before, of course, but, yes. you know, there's... Yes, come on, crack on, crack on. It's time, fine. time, time isn't made. Time isn't made of money. My tool isn't the sharpest bulb in the shed. Come on. God, we know that. Shout out to uh, Polylicious who wants to know if we go to cons and if we want to go to MCM Comic Con in London. Uh, you do all sorts of cons, but I just do the EGXs for the most I don't part. Do all sorts of cons. I do mostly like literary conventions with like you know panels and that and i do age and i do the ejects for the most part yeah so i've just been to my two cons for the year so yeah. nine was and one con yeah and i've and got like, the and i've got yeah. ejects coming up in i think it must be in september i'm gonna try to go september. to easter con next year i think yeah uh but i think we we went to london film and comic con a couple a few years we back. did it must be quite a few years back at quite this a point few years yeah back, but it's just a bit like it was all right really my thing. it was all right I wouldn't necessarily. Just... I'm not sure. It's like for us, it's really worth like a full yeah. a day out for it or yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Nutelius who gave us five Australian dollars. It's just wanted to say thank you for having a Discord. I've met so many lovely people through it. I'm happier than ever. Oh, thank you, Nutelius. That's very sweet. Spam the Discord link in the chat, Thomas. Thomas isn't here. Thomas has been here. Oh, he told me he wasn't going to be here. Yeah, but he was on his phone and then he found a computer. Ah, fair enough. He couldn't resist the urge to moderate. Ah, of course. He was like, I must swing that bad hammer. Oh, fair enough too. Uh, shout out to Evil John Clone 666 gave us five dollars and says John's strategy pikes at choke points. His response when his strategy fails have been, uh, "Have you seen the snow? I was not here for my last comment. Please repeat." Mm-hmm. Mm, wait a minute. I. What? Well, I wanted to know if I could repeat his last comment, but like that's gonna. I'm going to need to find that. Shh. That's just a bit far off. Wait a sec. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I mean, you could talk. Mm -hmm. It is your stream. No, I can't find it. Okay. Uh, anyway. La vie est comme un hurricane. Ici on Duckberg. Uh, uh, Joué... Voiture, uh, beam de laser, c'est un bleu du duck. Peut-être solver un mystère. Ba ba. <laughs> Ouh, re ra re uh, re right 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 re write a histoire. Tell du duck. Woohoo! Do 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 do. This is incentive for you to fight it faster. Wow. Tous les jours, uh, ils ont, ils, ils y ont son, son lait. Tell the dog, woohoo. Do, 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 do. Hey, uh, did you remember to shout out new channel members when I was away? Uh, possibly. 
Do you mind want to do it again? Yes, 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 I do. Welcome to Take No Jigs, Thomas Rate. I'm sure I mentioned that. I'm sure I mentioned that. But welcome to Thomas Rate and Take No Jigs in case I didn't. I thought I did. I thought mm -hmm. I did. Don't stop believing in French. Uh -huh. No, no, I'm sorry, evil. Uh, pa, pa, wait, pa de, pa de, pa de believing. No. Your kind. <laughs> yeah, cat. don't stop. Will be pa de, pa de. No. Perfect. Pa de, pa believing. I can't remember the next line even in English. Oh. Feeling? Just don't stop believing. She took the midnight train going, going yeah, anywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Strangers. <laughs> moonlight. <laughs> no, something, something in Detroit. Chattanooga. Choo choo. Boy. <laughs> Chattanooga. <laughs> Pardon <laughs> me, boy. <laughs> you take the Pennsylvania Station. You please stop. At corner to four. <laughs> if John Shell gets shut down for illegal streaming, he could be a singer instead. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Cookie Thief. You're um, you're really helping. <laughs> Are you done? Probably. <laughs> you say that. Yeah, but it's but funner if I wait for you to get into something again, then I just do it at random. <laughs> like the time I spent the day yelling Mysterious as the dark side of the cheesy after I figured out all the Disney songs have different lyrics in French. Shout out to Notelius who gave us two Australian dollars and says, From Venus, will we ever get Mass Effect 3 insanity? You won't get that. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't I'd say this, but let's watch the space. Um, clap, 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 clap. Look at my look at my desktop right now. Yes, I can see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's interesting, isn't that? It? It's interesting. Yes, I yeah, knew that was on the desktop already. Right? Interesting, isn't that? It? It's quite interesting. Uh -huh. Shout uh -huh. out to some other guy, Part Two Electric Boogaloo, who gave uh -huh. us five dollars and says, "I feel like I should pay for a concert ticket." Uh -huh. Oh God, guys, don't encourage him. Yeah, I was I was delighted to find that Avril Lavigne is one of the um the stars on the radio station in Burnout. I was just Burnout Paradise just got its remastered version just getting to PC. I think it was just today. Um. So we've been playing that. I haven't decided whether it's going to be a video or a live stream yet. Mm -hmm. Burnout Paris Remaster might be video or might be a live stream. But that's uh, annoying. Can you check the email? It's just. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. You know what? Fair played. Well played. Well played. Well Oi. done. Well done. <laughs> well done. You know, the reason we don't do that is because high fives sound terrible on microphone. They sound Whatever. so bad. They just sound like a what? really obnoxious I'm sorry, crack. I just had to hear you like fixing "Don't Stop Believing in French," so I don't think a high five is <laughs> gonna sound the worst thing today. Shut up, <laughs> evil jump. Oh no! Wait, 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 wait. She would have taken the midnight train if there hadn't been strike action. She hurdy, hurdy, hurdy. Rail unions on strike. Every single night train couldn't get anywhere at all. Tried to get a bus. Bus drivers on strike too. Everyone in France on strike. I mean, <laughs> surely you should have done that in French. I <laughs> can't. I know you can't, honey. <laughs> anyway, shout out to you, John Clone 666, who gave us five dollars and says, "My question was if that. The question was whether that first song that John was singing was "Don't Stop Believing in French," but this result was somehow better. Mm -hmm. they, he thought that you singing Ducktales in French was "Don't Stop Believing." Amazing. 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 Um. Yep. <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> Are we all caught up? 
I think we're all we should wrap up, here, up yeah. then because we got Cruto Is in Cordoba. Pizza time? Uh, yeah, I think it's pizza time. Let's go get some pizza. All right, let's go get some pizza. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to wrap up that. Uh, so, over at about quarter of an hour, over on Nerd Cube, you're going to have the... Is it part 11? I think it's part 11. Yeah, uh, Of the so. crew to... The whole thing was supposed to be three parts, you know. That yeah, was what we did when we started. It was supposed to be three parts. Part 11 of the crew 2 over on Nerd Cube. And then at 10 p.m., so in about an hour and a quarter, on my own channel, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be playing Ultimate Fishing Simulator, a game that claims to be the greatest fishing game of all time. I've never been fishing, and I've never played a fishing game before, and I know nothing about fishing. So... You generally have to be kind of like, you know, quiet, so as to not scare the fish. Really? Yeah. Intriguing. I learned so much about fishing. It's <laughs> marvellous. So, hopefully you join us for Ultimate Fishing Simulator. In an hour and a quarter, and in just a quarter of an hour, uh, crew two. Next week, I, I, I haven't decided whether there's going to be like a video. There might be a video of Burnout Paradise Remastered. Just kind of look at it and just kind of, and also kind of as an excuse to play it some more, to be honest. Or maybe I might make it next week's live stream. I haven't decided yet. There's a bit. Blah, blah, blah. So, we'll see. We'll see about that, ladies and gentlemen. And yeah, hopefully you join us on the uh, the main channel for the videos. But in the meantime, I've been John. I've been Claire. And she's been Claire Claire's back. Welcome back. <laughs> long distance hug. Ah. Thank you. Hand holding, that's what long distance hugs are called. We just held hands. That's, that's what true. Happened. It was still pretty sweet. It was pretty sweet. Yeah. But I've been John. I've been Claire. Yes, Claire. This has been this is and, and and if anyone asks, if anyone comes around and asks, this has been FTL faster than light. Okay, it's been FTL. First, the, wait, no, wait, hang on, I've got the FTL got Vikings the, the, that's, and Light. That's not nothing. This has been West of Loathing. This has been West of Loathing. Okay, this has been West of Loathing. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Goodbye.